Monday. Hello uh, everybody go. and welcome to episode 14 of Power Rangers Let There Be Thunder. I am Matthew, I am your GM. Um, who knows, you know, we made it to 14 episodes, maybe we can do another 14? Another 20? Mm -hmm. I'm used to saying the community, six seasons in a movie. I don't think we can go that far, but oh, I think we can. we'll keep pushing, and as long as people keep watching, and people keep enjoying playing, we'll keep going. Um, yeah. We have a few minor technical issues tonight, so we have no camera for our Green Ranger, who unfortunately has no internet, and is working from a hotspot. Um... So you just have this lovely little picture. Um, hopefully at some point it will swap. But until then, yeah. Um, and if the lovely characters and players would like to introduce themselves. Hello, I am Michael. You cannot see me, as Matt has already explained. I am suffering technical issues. Um, but I am playing Peter, your Green Ranger. Hi. It's me, it's Anne. I'm the problem. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Sophie, the Blue Ranger. What's up? I'm Panic. I'm playing Cal, the Yellow Ranger. 
I am also Michael playing Sarah the Black Ranger and am definitely the problem. <laughs> and I'm Jay, who is having biological problems and also his own local technical problems. I will be playing a Red Ranger Q. Um, thank you and welcome to Problems Hill Central. Also so, the problem. <laughs> the the There's a lot Look, of Look, I'm... I made the Taylor Swift reference first, okay? Just saying. <laughs> oh, is it a Taylor Swift reference? <laughs> I didn't know. We'll be fighting through the technical technical difficulties. Apologies. Bear with us. If you do notice something has slipped up, feel free to shout at us in the chat. Um, if you see something, say something. Yeah, please do. Um, yeah. Last session, we... The rangers sort of did that age-old thing that you're not supposed to do and split the group. Um, Peter, Sarah and Sophie travelled to Mariner Bay and met with the Lightspeed Rangers, uh, did a bit of a tour of the Aqua Base. Q and Cal, on the other hand, played host to Chad, Joel and Dana who had come just to help out in case there were any problems, but also just to see um, the command centre, have a look around, sort of see, make friends, you know, turn that whole animosity into a working relationship, maybe. Um, over in Mariner Bay, things got very interesting when... Um, Sophie and Peter asked to see where all the morphine technology was. And they got introduced to the individual who helped them cross that last hurdle into creating the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers. Uh, one Anubis Kruger who had been stranded on Earth for a good couple of years, um, sent to Earth to help start the SPD Earth base. But without his tech, without any way of connecting, uh, contacting Zordon Alpha, he made friends where he could and helped out where he could. But you know, things might be changing now. Uh, Sophie helped her uncle, as she called him, which definitely didn't uh, almost make me cry, as she gave him a bit of uh, emotional guidance. Yep. And Sarah, Sophie and Peter helped to chase a intruder through the aqua base who had stolen the titanium morpher they caught up to him sarah did see somebody that looked familiar but she kept her familiar focus they managed to tear the uh, cloak off of his shoulder and lo and behold ryan mitchell vanished for Roughly 15 years. Taken away by demons. And now in possession of morphine technology. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong, wrong with <laughs> I like the thumbs down. It's like... <laughs> <sighs> Sarah did go back to find the individual... Uh, she had recognised and was reunited with her twin brother Wyatt. They, as a team, started looking for Ryan Mitchell and a titanium morpher. But everything was pointing towards everywhere. The signal for the morpher was in every part of Mariner Bay all at once. And without any way to reliably track it down, Anubis Kruger recommends that the team, or the two teams, return to their respective 
bases, the respective cities. Um, technology has been shared. I took, I took some souvenirs with me. <laughs> there has been some souvenirs taken. Nothing too big, too small. Um, you know, just some broken up morphers that can't possibly go bad at any point. Well, I have plans. <laughs> Anybody else concerned whenever they hear Michael say he has I'm going to get Alpha and Kruger to help. I believe in him. Just keep thinking of Baldrick. <laughs> a cunning plan. A very cunning <laughs> plan. There's not much time to prepare for or really do anything. With emigrant, uh, my brain just went walkies, apology. With emigrant tech already set out to announce a new technological breakthrough that Q's father had asked Q and Peter to attend, had offered tickets to all of them, all, all of Q's friends. With this unveiling happening that night and with everything going on, it's become a bit of a, a cluster. Yeah. All hands on deck situation. Fortunately, Ernie's is um, providing food and drink. So even with tickets, Cal and Sarah are able to um, sort of go incognito, move about. And there are um, posters, a, a great big uh, display board um, set up. It's the launch of the Emigrant Tech and Angel Grove Water and Power Partnership, a Falcron transducer, the brand new method of clean power generation that will change the world for the better, or so they claim. And Emigrant Tech has already been up giving her opening remarks. Leaving the rangers in their civilian forms to sort of wander about, observing what's going on. Can everybody make me an alertness check? We love to. I like alertness checks; they're always Perce fun. Based. It's it's a perception. Say again, sorry. It's a perception-based alertness yeah. check. Yeah, not insight. Oh. Balls. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> uh, how many story points do we have? Because I think I just added another one to the pool. Uh, you have five. Well, now we have six. New scene, new day. And now we have <laughs> six. There we go. <laughs> thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. <laughs> now we have seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> two fumbles a, a blinding two <laughs> Oof. that is a um, three total I rolled a two on my d4 interesting start to the session oh yeah I, roll, I rolled a three total but I rolled a one on my d20 <laughs> alright so Damn. the totals <laughs> we have two thirteens from Peter and Cal and then three ones. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a whole okay. thing. Three fumbles. Nobody's I mean, hey. Nothing. Hella, alert, hella um, story points. Use them for everything now. Although, everything's fine. Sarah, um, I'm turning on. Nope. nope. That is not what that says. <laughs> that's old. That's, that's, uh, from, that's from last week, my guy. I was going to say, that says a four from that's what a I one and a three. <laughs> That's three fumbles. One, that's three fumbles. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, eight story three... We have eight story points. <laughs> oh wow! Um, uh, I, I would like. 
I would like to frame my fumble as Sophie being on her phone and checking in. How long ago was this from the visit? It's like the next day. Uh, it is the next day. It's like uh, so twenty seven hours. Okay. Yeah, just because I am wondering at this point, like, Sophie's probably going to want to check in on Dana. <laughs> Eventually, like, inevitably, she's going to find out all of the stuff that happened while she was in Angel Grove. So Sophie is on her phone, essentially just texting her friend <laughs> and not paying attention. Yeah. But I wonder, like, did I get called away from... Quiet, or did we actually have a moment? Uh, you definitely would have had a okay. moment. So I guess we'll we'll figure that out later. Yeah, but that and what I was hoping is spending a bit more time you and I. Um, yeah, doing a bit of that is that's that's why Sarah is distracted. <laughs> Yeah, and Q's just Anybody? at his dad's place of work and his dad's being, yep. like, super unlike himself. Just trying to show Q off and introduce him to all of his colleagues. Um, trying to introduce him to the mayor, who's getting ready to step up and press that lovely big red button <laughs> to get everything started. Oh, Q's just totally a, awkward. It's just a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody dies. What, just, when I, the big red button that just has the word bomb written on it and then like scratched out. <laughs> when, I more, when I demorph when I demorph the cafeteria, so, how many people saw me do that? Just why Oh, he's the only one in there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Darn. Fortunately. Darn. Yes. Darn, he says. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Wait, you want other people to see you on more? Drama. <laughs> One person in particular, I'm thinking. Although I'm sure there are cameras in the, in the cafeteria. No. Wait, hold on. <laughs> also, Michael, if you roll a nat 20 right now, uh, the Yellow Ranger from Lightspeed Rescue will, not, will have seen you. <laughs> 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 or a story point just flat out you can just throw a story point away and you can have this happen I'll give, we'll give you i will give you the story point yeah. i gained yeah. from my fumble take my fumble eat it <laughs> <laughs> i love how everybody's like we want this to happen um we only want it yeah, because we only want it because Michael wants it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, as you're going about doing your own bits and pieces, offering out drinks and food for Cow and Sarah, um, sort of hobnobbing for Q, just meeting all these people that he might not otherwise be meeting. Um, Sophie. You're sort of working alongside some more of those EMT types. Thankfully, nobody's hurt themselves. There's a few hangovers because some people are already hitting the wine a little too heavily. Um, need to, you know, cut them off, start drinking some water, maybe, you know, just get get some water in yourselves, hydrate. Is, um, am I, Peter, am I identifiable as an EMT? Am I wearing, like, some sort of... Oh, yep. Yeah. Wearing the same bits and pieces as okay. you had before. The same uh, high-vis vest, the same equipment you had with you. So, I would... I think that I would just be hanging out kind of in a quiet corner, avoiding the social stuff, and just, like, pretending like I'm doing my job, checking my phone. <laughs> um, That's fair. Yeah. And just messaging. Dana. It's like, hey, are you okay? 
like, I'm sorry I missed you yesterday. Oh, did we ever get to have dinner? Uh, your uncle uh, cancelled dinner because of Ryan's appearance. D okay, but did, 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 did I ever get to just go with Dana? If you and Dana wanted to have dinner, yeah. Uh, uh but would she have... Okay. Okay, yeah. That... Yeah, so it would have been like a check-in, like, it was nice to have dinner last night. Um, we should do it again. I'm trying to vibe out to see if uh, she's kind of found out how things have exploded without actually saying, <laughs> hey, I was there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, you're walking along a few feet behind Q and his dad. He's... You're being introduced to the people, um, and the word uh, summer interns being thrown about quite a few times. You do hear one person sort of, isn't that the kid with the laser pointer and the... <clears throat> As he hears this, he'll just kind of okay. drop his head and sh like shake his head. When... We're sure he's learned from that mistake, and we're making sure he's no lasers... Um, Pete. Constant oh, Pete, one day you're going to own up to this. And he's, re he's referring to Clay um, Doyle's Pete. He was actually <laughs> feeling bad for Pete. At this point <laughs> this is, it's not that just, it haunts him always, it's just it's ever present. <laughs> His idea has given yep. me this tarnished name. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor steps up on stage and. There's a bit of an introduction just talking about how this lovely clean energy initiative is going to reshape. Just so you're aware, we can now see you. I, I, I know, that's what I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's going to reshape Angel Grove. <laughs> and the <laughs> board above just starts showing a timer free. And the mayor goes to place her hand over the button. Two, she drops her hand down over oh the God. button. One. And as she presses that button, you all feel the air become charged with electricity. Something is amiss. Ha -ha. I am in you danger. Feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. There's oh, a good crackle, God. That's a reference and you that I have. hear and feel the earth grumble and shiver with discontent. The lights that had been illuminating the event, just so, flicker, then cut out entirely, which only amplifies the scene that unfolds. A swirl of energy forms in the air, about six feet above the ground. It undulates gently, then quickly spirals outwards, forming a roiling dark cloud of nascent energy. Sparks of what looks like lightning starts to flash within the cloud, then burst outwards, striking the ground in an advancing wave, like angry spidery legs of un energy rushing towards you, sending all in its path careening to the sides. In an instant, before you've even fully made it up and out of your respective chairs, or away from walls you get struck in a chest by the energy Oosh. everything goes white and you feel yourself float for just a moment before a force pulls you forward and upwards you feel yourself instinctively morph as the darkness of space rushes towards you in oppressive oh. silence another flash and you feel yourself falling Uh, are we just fallen where we where we were lifted, or are we in a new location? Go ahead and make a right. acrobatics or alertness check. Hmm. That's a weird couple of options. <laughs> what are you really? talking about? Completely normal options. I think I'll choose alertness. <laughs> Genuinely doesn't matter for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, <same. laughs> I got 14. 
Ten. Let's see if. Uh. Hey, two. Actually, they're both the same oh. for me. Not a good day for me. Oh dang! I rolled a a twenty-one for acrobatics. Um, well, are we in space? What is this? I, you did, find yourself on a stone floor. Did Definitely the not at the Department of Water and Power. <laughs> Surprise, kiddies! It's a Halloween takeover game! I'm your GM. I will be running this game. <laughs> did the Ranger Slayer just pull us into a thing like... To like a, a secret mission? What is this place? I hate it here. I already hate it here. Fight. Well, I mean, as you look. come to and realize your surroundings, you notice that your Red Ranger is not with you. However, a figure clothed in a suit that's almost identical to your own is with you, and it is pink rather than red. But you Those were of you who... <laughs> Sorry, Michael, go ahead. That you weren't kidding about taking over? I, I thought that was a pink, no. but I guess this is real. <laughs> Holy no. fuck. Okay. Okay. Boy. Um... Those of you who remember the Rangers will recognize this as Kimberly Hart's suit. Is, is it a female form or is it a male form, though? It is a female form. Okay. Hey, well, but, but, but what about that 21 acrobatics I rolled? <laughs> you landed beautifully on your feet in exactly Excellent. the way that you'd expect somebody with a lot of acrobatic training to do, and you did so right in front of Kimberly Hart. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Who, unfortunately, <laughs> thrown completely through a confusing loop has landed on her face, essentially. <laughs> it did I actually land in um, front of her? Can we move my token? Because that's hilarious. And she sort of looks up. I'm gonna, I'm like, gonna, I'm gonna land right here in front of her. No, then, anyone, you I guess, absolutely that's... can do that. <laughs> is she in the Ranger Slayer suit, or is she in just pink? <laughs> Billy? Oh, oh, wait! That... You think I'm? Uh, no, 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 no! I'm, I'm, I'm not who you think I am. So, uh, Peter, Tommy, uh, Kim, Kim, is that you? Just, What's going you on? Just respond like that. <laughs> I, I rolled an eighteen, and we know that Kim was the Pink Ranger. So, no, I meant. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, you can't respond to her calling you Tommy with like, yep. Oh no, I just, Kim, it's not Tommy, but is that you? Where, where the hell are we? Is this, is this, wrong accent. is this read up? What am I dreaming? I have a question. Can I do some sort of brainy, brainy check? <laughs> do to figure out where we are. Some kind of smart space check. Um, yes. I am smart. I have as much of say. I am smart. Give it to me. <laughs> this is the only thing I'm good at. And backflips, apparently. Um, Being smart and backflips. They're my two things. Yeah, do... <laughs> do whatever like your that. smartest smart role is. And um, um, don't worry about a difficulty and I'll do it on a sliding scale. Okay, sweet. Um, uh, okay, my highest, my highest skill, which is actually, um, hmm. oh, what, what if I would like to spend an idea point to roll that with an edge because I don't trust my dice. They are dicks. <laughs> um, I can be exceptionally generous and say, don't spend an idea point on it. 
Okay, fine. Whatever. I still don't trust my dice. Okay, that's fine. I guess. It's an 18. 18. I trust my dice. Okay. You look around, and you are on essentially what feels like a giant stone platform in the middle of space. You don't recognize any of the constellations in the sky above you, like you would do at home. You'd spot an Orion or a Big Dipper or a North Star. And if you peer cautiously over the edge, you can see that the stone platform that you're on actually stretches down quite a way, but you can't see any base to it. But... It's messed up. What is happening? Where are we? Yeah, this don't seem good. Uh, we're we're definitely in some. Uh, we're definitely in space somewhere. I thought maybe we were like sucked into the Morphin Grid, but I guess we're just in space. Well, somewhere? why don't we ask that lady? I'm assuming it's a lady you. from the Icon. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you, kind of shimmering into position is an exotically dressed, heavily made up, walking statement, let's call her. Uh, hair, the little hat perched on it, the outfit, the impossible to walk in shoes. She is a spectacle. And she says, welcome, welcome. Well, well, one and all, it would seem that today we have some more humans to play with. Aren't they always such fun? You aren't certain who she's speaking to, but she carries on as if she was doing a bit to camera. And these ones seem to be quite fashionable, don't you think? Will they survive or self-destruct as so, so many do? But before we find out, let's see if they have any questions. Best be quick. Time is pressing on. No yep, more who are you? questioning. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretend can I didn't I, hear that one. <laughs> can I roll can I roll an insight check on this person? <laughs> Absolutely. Um okay, I don't know what the difficulty is, but I rolled a 16 with a 4 on my d4. So if it passes, it's a crit. <laughs> she's not physically um you don't get anything from her because you got a crit. She's not physically here. You're fairly convinced she's probably a hologram. <laughs> Who the hell are you and where the hell are we? That's two, two questions. <laughs> Pick one, dear. <laughs> Sarah did not understand the assignment. <laughs> where are we? You are on the planet, well, above the planet Falcronite. More specifically, you are atop the Sklegtok, or to put it into your primitive tongue, the Tower of Challenge. Okay. Next. Why? Why? For our That's entertainment, of course. Nothing beats some good wholesome family entertainment on a fling knock evening. Someone ask how. <laughs> <laughs> how about can we just go home? The second question. <laughs> she was very clear. She just ignores nope. you, Sarah. <laughs> how do we... uh, How do we leave? How did I get here? Well, we have found a simply marvellous way of capturing races or species who manipulate Falcron particles. They're usually advanced you... enough to face the Sklegtok. Occasionally they are not, but either way it makes for some good wholesome family entertainment. Wholesale kidnapping and putting through a tower of challenge. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, 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 cool. So how do we go home? Well, there'll be a series of challenges, and then at the end, you go back. Okay, so assuming we, okay, assuming we live, you will send us back. We're not just stuck here. Again, she ignores you, because that's another question. That's assuming she's not lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, has well, everybody had a question? Because I lost... I'm... Sophie I'm... has yet to ask a question, I think, and I don't think Kim's got answered. 
I'm struggling to get a read on this. Um, so Vegas is considering it because she's she's very she's very thinky and she's a little bit kind of off kilter. And what happens is kind of out of instinct. You just see her summon her power weapon kind of as a um, instinctual thing and she says um, she finally says who do you work for? Um, sorry I've, something I'd written has just confused me they and I suggest you call me Falcronitus I host events here on behalf of the monarch. The monarch is our, well, monarch. They rule everything. If you're lucky, you might even get to meet them. Cool. I hope the space police arrest you for this. Let's get it started. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. can we just get on with this? Oh, wait. Kim, do you have a question? Kim, Kim looks over at Sophie and summons her own bow. Was that own bow or oboe? <laughs> Summons the oboe. <laughs> no. so, speaking uh, of, they oboe, look, you're not my Blue Ranger. <laughs> they look the, the 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 bows look really similar, except Sophie's are the ends of hers are actually bladed, so they're sharp and pointy, and then she splits them in half and she says uh no i'm not your blue ranger i'm sorry for the confusion and she looks down at her suit and she says uh you know what i'll explain everything after we get out of here and um <laughs> Bill? technically an f okay well before i go i have one question for you all do you prefer to think or to act Sophie He's looks at everybody. Say nothing. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, silence. Looks, Sophie, Sophie looks. Sophie, Sophie looks. Okay, full disclosure. Anne hates puzzles, but Sophie would definitely say she prefers to think. But I also hate puzzles. <laughs> um, uh, but then Sophie doesn't say anything. She just looks at. Her teammates waiting for someone else to say something. I've I've seen this movie. Billy made me watch it. We are gods. What? What? Wait. What? what? <laughs> is is no. this is Cal? Cal after turning to Kim with exactly like, like what the what did you just say? Turns back to this lady is like was that an answer? <laughs> This isn't Ghostbusters. I don't oh. think. Um. Um. Kim, uh, is is that you? And how are you here? I asked that same question. Uh, do you remember? Well, one of us has said that. Well, what's the what's the last thing you remember, Kim? Where were you? Yeah, if you could hold on on this TV bit, like we gotta. <laughs> This needs some sussing out. Give us a second. Whilst you're chatting, she's just stood there very patiently. There's no expression. She's just happy waiting. Is she is she, is she just we... technology? Can I look around and see if I could put if I could push a power button to turn her off? <laughs> just like um... Ma'am, ma'am, we will be with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Kim, what do you remember? We we fought Goldar, um, Tommy, Mike Green. You kind of look like him, but you're not Mike Green Ranger, which is very Tommy confusing. Tommy is still green. And you're not m my yellow. Yeah. Or, m you're not Definitely Zach. not. <laughs> Wait, so to Tommy's green? Tommy. No, why? Yes. We're. Oh God! Time travel. Your <laughs> time travel. Like, either you're not real or time travel. 
Both are terrible. I don't like either of those things you just said. <laughs> All right. Should we maybe what... shelf this and come back to it in a minute? Yeah. It's a lot to process. Right. Um, weird Think hologram that's... lady. Um, to answer your question, I'm going to say both. And then, let's rumble. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Like, I'm, like, I'm down to rumble. We can rumble if you want to rumble, but I do think, for the purposes of their game show, super fucked up, by the way, thought I'd mention it, uh, we do, in fact, have to say one or the other. Is that correct, hologram kidnapper? That's correct. All right, cool. Okay. Um, puts her daggers together and um, takes her bow and shoots the hologram lady. I think straight that through and off into space. I think yeah, that counts fashion as reject. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that says it. I yeah, think we choose definitive, act. definitive act. Yeah, Fair summon enough. the sword. Get ready. <laughs> the time has come out. Okay, that's lovely. Anyway, may the odds be eternally entertaining. Tribbles. And then did she we, did. Did we just get? Sucked into Games? the space Hunger Games? <laughs> oh. As much as I hate that concept, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what just happened. No, wait! The, yeah, the difference is we're not fighting each other, though. At least I hope not. Give me this. Yeah, such don't, don't, don't. brains. Give don't it a second. Listen. <laughs> oh god, are you gonna talk to us the entire time? God damn it. <laughs> Do you find yourself, mean? I hope, I will just preface this now, uh, I've not set anything up in Roll20 in a very long time, so um, if any of you can't see at any point, let me know, that's not intentional. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, or if you're not on a map, I just... that's not intentional. Uh, um, where's the little green ball? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so moving on, you find yourself in a medium-sized stone room. Um, there's a pedestal in the middle, and on it, which you can't see on the map because I don't have an artifact for it, there is a small-ish cube. And in front of you is a very small, rather dejected-looking green sphere. And I now need to get to the right piece of my notes, otherwise this is not going to work. That's not the right piece of my notes. All right, so okay. the, the green sphere has a face, clearly. Yes. <clears throat> In direct contrast to the very lovely and light lady that you've just met, who's far too breathy, this little sour drop, you might say, um, he says to you, and I've just closed the wrong thing, Welcome to your first challenge. Question. Would you offer a finger in order to save your life? Take it. And then he disappears. A finger? <sighs> okay. Would you Would... offer a finger? I feel like finger? I feel like that's a definite yes. Yeah. yeah. Really. Like take the pinky. I'm good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, whoa. Like, You're not taking my finger. I... Look, I got ten. Take one of mine. Kim, trust me. Losing a finger is the last thing you need to worry about. Nip, 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 nip. So are you going to spend the whole time with, like, one of the people you cared about who, like, is here through some mystery of science and or time travel, and you're going to spend the whole time being, like, grimly foreshadowing the future? Foreshadow, foreshadow, foreshadow. Is that, is that your whole thing? <laughs> is that what you want to do rather than be like, hey, bunch it's of stuff so I didn't get to tell you? It's not so much foreshadowing as not believing it's actually Kim. That's fair. Understandable. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Cal All is right. going to... I assume this is a drop, right? Between like, it is. It's just a small yeah, step down. Yeah, like a, like a, yeah. And yeah, gonna approach, we'll, approach the you, cube. Yeah. As you approach the cube. Just be careful this. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you get closer, you can see on the cube that there are five approximately finger-shaped holes. As the last one of you steps down off that little ledge where you started. In the corner of each room, four open pipe heads appear. 
and water starts pouring into the room. Is the cube set up in a way that I could just I could just stick a finger in each hole, like like just like grip it like a, and then just get one like in every ball. Yeah, exactly. Could I just like put well, a whole that's hand? That's amazingly in this thing? selfless of you, and I love it. No, it's Damn. set in such a, set, a way that you couldn't get. To, it's, it's um it's like selfless. pentagonal. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, oh, selfless is a strong word. My real motivation was if I lost all the fingers on a hand, I could just get rid of the hand wholesale and put a gun on there. Gun <laughs> <laughs> Chuck. He would be happy to help. They call me Chuck. I am Gun Chuck. <laughs> all right. um, well, uh, I suppose the solution's fairly obvious. The room's filling with water. We got finger holes. Like, all right. Pick Thank a you finger. Up, guys. Which of you do I need the least? And Cal is going to stick in the uh, the ring finger on his left hand. <laughs> Guys, doesn't this, seem, doesn't this seem too obvious? The water's about calf deep by now. Uh, the, the, the other option is I'm going to tootle over here and I'm going to take my stick and yell at the door. You can certainly try. Yep. <laughs> I assume nothing happens. <laughs> Are you going to roll? Oh, oh, okay. your attack. <laughs> you got to try to hit it first. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that's a you twenty-one. Line up a really good shot, and all of your pent-up rage comes out beautifully. <laughs> Beautifully through your voice. It hits the door and absolutely nothing happens. You're now knee deep in water. All right. Well, that's about what I expected. Kim, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that this just seems too obvious. I mean, we did choose action rather than think. Yeah. And they I mean, said it was like a tower of they they said it was a tower of challenges. So I'm I'll be honest, I'm rolling off the assumption that if they kill you off in the first floor of the tower of challenges, it's not good television. Yeah, Pinky's up, guys. Let's do this. Still putting my ring finger in there. <laughs> As each of you puts a finger in, the water slows. Have all of you got one in? Yeah, yeah, I'll put mine yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phrasing. I thought oh. I had a thing that would help. Uh, <laughs> never yeah, mind, so it's fine. As soon as all five of you have a finger in, Giggity. the pipes stop, they withdraw, the water starts to drain, and then the door flies open. And out goes the rest eat. of the water. Imagine so that the door is open. I don't have a map that shows the door is open, I'm afraid. And Peter's slightly more suspicious of Kim. <laughs> we should hurry through that door in case this doesn't... Yeah, in case it immediately starts filling with water the second we remove the hand. It's not yeah. just me that thought yeah. that then. Pete will test it by taking no. his finger out. The door stays open. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> People will come and secure the door and hold it open just in case. Run through the door. Thank you. Yeah. As you step through the door, you're teleported. You're teleported <laughs> into another room. I'm sorry that you all end up unmorphed every time you end up in a new room. It's not intentional. It's just the way. No, you... my identity. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! People can see me. Uh, what did I ask? On television, no <laughs> less. Space <laughs> television. <laughs> Does the teleportation feel mean? like our teleportation, or does it feel different? It feels different. It feels like the first teleportation it feels at the like beginning. The first time. <clears throat> it feels like the very so... first time. <laughs> really don't like that. Guys, you need to work on your teleportation stuff. <laughs> um, once again, to greet you is your very lovely and warm, bubbly host, the Sour Drop. Well done. You completed what the first challenge. Are you? Holding down a button lowers one of the gates. 
you need to make it through to the other side. The faster you, the faster you run, the slower you move. And then he disappears. Now, as you start to step in and move around this room, the air feels strange, almost viscous. So slightly thick. So the more you move, the more you feel it resist you. You can move freely, but it's not like walking through water, but it's, it's not like, like walking through air. It's like cornstarch. It's like yeah, walking kind of. on sunshine. <laughs> but it is just like walking on sunshine. Whoa. Oh. Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good? <laughs> Non-Newtonian non air. Yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> Thank you, chat. God, I hate that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, theoretically, if I attempt to backflip through this, it'll just be really, really hard for me to do it. You'll just right. eventually get stuck midair. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So I guess Cal, Cal is going to like meander yeah. over to the pedestal. Yeah, okay. really. No, no real rush at this point, I guess. Nope. Okay. So you see a very similar pedestal to the one you saw before. However, rather than a cube with finger holes on it, um, you see five buttons, one of each color of the range of spectrum that we have in the room. Well... And it's probably see... not going to work, but I may as well try this. And Cal is going to climb up onto the table and try laying a five-pointed star <laughs> like direction to push all buttons at once. <laughs> it's, it's Cal trying to starfish. <laughs> starfish. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, okay. I'll allow it. Um, Dead as, ass. You, <laughs> as you lay down over all five buttons, all of the colored um, uh, on the other side of the room, uh, at the top of the room, is where there is a gap which has a series of light gates across it, a bit like the ones that you know from the command center. And as Cal lays down awkwardly over all of the buttons, they all clap. They all open. Sorry. Does it all make right. a noise? No. It, did something happen? I can't move my head. My head is on one of the buttons. Then go face, it, down. face down. Uh, did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Let go. Let's see how long we have before they pop back on. All right, Cal, like, lifts his head off the one button. <laughs> you hear, like, a piece of, a short piece of music going, boom, 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 boom. Interesting. Boom. And he'll lay and back then, down to see if it stops. <laughs> and then it stops and the gate opens again. All right, cool. I do, I do an experiment while he's starfished on the... Yeah, don't, I'm platform. chilling. Go ahead. I, I'm going to backflip and see if it moves normally. No, if it I move, moves no. with that same... Non-Newtonian okay. air feeling. <laughs> okay, Guys, this is awful. I have an idea. Does yeah. it involve going through the door? <laughs> it does. Um, so obviously we need to make it to the gate. We can all willingly summon and de-summon our power weapons. Summon a power weapon, yeah. leave it on our respective color, go through the gate, we all get out, re-summon our power weapon to our hand. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, I, that just sounds yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> have, I, otherwise, someone's going to get stuck. Hey, guys, that my power too. weapon. Yeah, my power, my, power, my power weapon splits into two. I can do two for one. Same. <laughs> Not the splitting part. I just I have two weapons. Can we summon our power our, our blade blasters to us? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, I thought they were holstered. So I was, that's why I was checking that. That's why I suggested the power weapons over them, because I thought I didn't want to lose a weapon. I um, think your Blade Blaster counts as a power weapon. So certainly in this universe, <laughs> I will allow you to summon and de them. Cool. Uh, get get okay, summoned yeah. from, from the morphing grid. That's why they're different. Cool. Pete, that's a Pete, Pete sounding slightly deflated, because for once he had a good idea, um, and someone had a better one. Um, <laughs> he's going. Uh, yeah, that works. Cal's going to get off the table, <laughs> okay. and uh, and take the gun and put it on the yellow button. <laughs> when you put it on the button, it's not heavy enough to weigh it down. Oh, well, crap! Uh, it's I. Cal will then like plant one of up. his one of his tonfas in the button. 
when you stab it, as Pete just did, or um, use your bladed tongue for that, absolutely will hold it down. All right. All right. I guess half of her. Stabbing, guys. So, so Sophie puts half of her power weapon on the button to see if it's heavy enough. Get <laughs> half of my power weapon. Blaster into the sword form and then slams that down like uh, Peter did with his dagger and Cal did with his tontva. Oh, I, I used the blade blaster. Oh, just sorry. To... Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Just in case I am going to lose it, I'd rather lose that than my, my sword. Um... <laughs> oh, all right, blade form works? Uh, yeah, blade form works. Stab it down, it can't move. And then he, he said the faster you move, the slower you go. So if we try moving really slowly, will we move fast? And I hate and love that you have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's take a stroll. Yeah, casually, casually walk up, to, up yeah, the so, room. Yeah, so does it work the opposite <laughs> way? The slower we move, the faster we go. We basically just moonwalk through it. <laughs> All I'm uh, thinking uh, of uh, is uh, that uh, scene uh, in Blue <laughs> Harvest with um, Act Casual. Do 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 do. About to start dance battle, so. So yeah, if you want to start moving, start moving. Let us start moving. The casual walk. We're strolling the park. Nothing to see here. Seriously, like, do you know where my team is? Uh, nope. No, we need to talk about that. Has anybody seen them? Nope. No. Let's let's see if we can get where out did of you this. Come from? We'll sit down and talk. Earth. We are guys. Guys, yeah. we need to focus. We can walk and talk. We're strolling. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Just, ca just keep it cash, because we have to. <laughs> Kim places a hand up to her ear, like where the helmet is, and she's like, Alpha? You on. know, radi radioing out would have been a great idea. Yeah, Why did none, none of us think about it. that? <laughs> Anybody there? You get no signal. No, not static, you just get no signal. See, that, that's what I could... I just kind of assume that. Yeah, that, just, so I didn't even... We're in a different dimension. I know, but like, if you're ki but if you're kidnapped, right, and you have a phone, you should at least try. <laughs> I mean, you're watching the horror film and you're saying, why have you run up the stairs? You've got a phone. <laughs> yeah, ne necessarily, though, because... I wonder if we can contact Q. Because Q for sure got taken with us, right? Who's Q? Yeah, that's Did a good point. Ah, our red. Oh, so you do have a red ranger. ranger. Yeah. yeah. Pete will then try and radio Q. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> we completely forgot about that. Yeah, he did that. <laughs> I feel loved, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry it about it. Two rooms. It took us two rooms to remember. Oh, yeah, the other guy who also got kidnapped. <laughs> but isn't he with us. He could be floating in space. He could, he be could dead. have been sucked into a black hole. <laughs> We should tr we should at least make an effort. We are all yeah. just so confused at seeing Kim that it just slipped our mind. We're Red. sorry. <laughs> Red to come you in. in a, like spiraling around a black hole, just singing all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> With his arms crossed, <laughs> just <laughs> it's a tear down the outside of his helmet. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, I know, I know, it's not really Q's vibe, but I was thinking more along a Papa Roach suffocation, no breathing. <laughs> Sophie, you've not moved. Was that deliberate? I just wasn't. I spaced out. Uh, I'm, okay, no I'm following. I'm following. Cool. I shall I just... move you over. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you had something planned or if you were about to. Let's no, I was trying to. Them. I'm still trying to find the plot. <laughs> right. The player is confused then, still. Now that now that we're That's now fine. that we're on the other side of the door, before we get warped, I want to summon my Tonfa back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Resummon my, my dagger. Or stuff. Yeah. I, I summon half of my power weapon. 
Bring the knife back. I summon half my bow. And then, did I get through to Q and trying to... Yeah, does Q answer? You get the same lack of um, signal. Oh, oh, can, you, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear, can you hear me? Hear me? <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> um, How many song references will I get away with today? We'll find out. <laughs> Well, it's me, so all of them, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a good sign, but I suppose we'll just have to mosey on until we find him. Yeah. All right, head head uh, through the glowing please. green, the, the next glowing green teleport door. Okay. So, you know, really, one of our questions to the old... Uh, um... Wonderful <laughs> lady should have been... Oh, um... no, that's red. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> What where, is this? Where, where Why are, are we? we? At a We're at a train station. <laughs> Why are we so small? Oh, actually, I need to prepare myself. I'm, I've got a prop for this. Oh, and I'm tied to my laptop. Bear with. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, everything's been real space-themed so far, so it's very jarring to just be at a train station. <laughs> is that a real train station? Like, um, where is it? Guys, this it is, is a real train station. More and more I think confusing. It is. Dad, yeah, you're not the only one. Somewhere that I saw. I suppose, I'm Kim, answer your question, assuming you are you. We are. Who else would have from been? From your future. Not you. An imposter. <laughs> yeah, not you. But rolling on the assumption that you are, in fact, you, we are from your future. You guys like are tired of insight. saying ominous things. <laughs> okay. Insight and side check her. <laughs> with People, the look seven at uh, People look at the other rangers and just kind of say, assuming it, it is her, how much can we tell her? In fact, if time travel moments have taught me anything, nothing. Yeah. Like, it's best wait. to just treat this as a weird coincidence and move on. <laughs> If we tell her about her future, it could change our present and not for the better. Yeah. Or it could create another reality. Look, there's never a good scenario in which like, in you time tell travel. people yep. about the past. It never yeah. goes well. Exactly. Wait, I've never seen the time traveler's wife. How did that go? What did Was that one also Sophie? bad? I think not well. <laughs> if I remember correctly, not well at all. Yeah, none so of them, they're... and and they lived happily ever after, do they? So we're we're agreed. No. We can't say anything. Yeah, so that seems about right. Apart I'd like to imagine that... this whole conversation took place in like a like a future rangers like huddle, <laughs> like <laughs> oh, yes, yes, um, <laughs> just in comms. We're just communicating to each other because I assume that her comms aren't connected to ours. They shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then, Sorry, so we're, what we're, did you we're get, agreed Sophie? on the insight. Build a 17 on the insight check. Is she, is she, is she, is she who she said she is? She is, she is, oh. is she lying? Jenny? She is Kimberly Hart. Uh, okay, then. Oh. Kim, Six. if that is, <laughs> okay. if that is you. Okay. Six point. <laughs> yeah. We, all we can tell you is we're from your future. But we can't tell you anything else because we don't know how time travel works. So, yeah. Boy. <laughs> That's about it. Hang, just... You're from my future. Yes. Yeah. So, you're the new Power Rangers? Yeah. We're the second group of Power Rangers. That feels more ambiguous than, insinua like it. than insinuating that all of her friends are dead. But what happened? We can't Sarah? tell you. We, we can't tell you. That's the problem. Anyway, why are we at a train station? Yeah, yeah train station. All right. Yeah, bigger problems. Um, also, Michael, you rolled. What did you roll? I was inciting Kim as well. Felt and like got a free, so and got us a free story, story point. point. A fumble. 
It is, yes. <laughs> I will take that story point. Uh, GM Matt, because yep. story points and me, every time I touch anything, it dies. <laughs> Could you please add a story point? Thank you. <laughs> so this time, you find yourself on what looks very much like a steam train station. Although, the closer that you look, the more you realise that actually it's a set that looks exactly like a steam train. So wherever the camera is coming, recording from, you can see that just behind that, like the train is actually a flat. Mm -hmm. So it's like two bits of wood that look like a train. And then all of the people are actually like mannequins. Um, not in a scary horror way, but in a, they're just made this to is a set. dress. This scene. is set dressing. Yeah, yes, right. exactly. This is um, on one of the train tracks um, is the pretend set train. On the other is, as you look at it, what looks like a fancy seesaw. Oh, There are five sets of footprints on it, right. and they're paw prints because I couldn't find footprints. <laughs> Uh, I gotta. And, I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Um, there's five sets of footprints, paw prints on it, and yeah, you see the mannequins are arranged as if they're queuing at a set of weighing scales, like large weighing scales. Um, the little sour drop has a little conductor's hat on. And he says, all aboard. The train for Palindrome City departs at 12 noon, which is five minutes away. Or when you're all on board. The train can only successfully depart when it's the same forwards as it is backwards. And I've shared that as a handout, so I'll read that again. The train for Palindrome City departs at 12 noon, which is five minutes away. Or when you're all on board. The train can only successfully depart when it is the same forwards as it is backwards. What? What? <laughs> so um... he says... Make sure that your party... <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly go on well. Make sure that your party boards together. The train for Palindrome City departs at noon. The train will depart when it is the same forwards as it is backwards. I'm just going to update my typing because I've missed out an important condition. Okay. Um, I thought we picked action. Is there something I can shoot? Yeah, no, really. I mean, maybe yeah. is this opposite day where we chose action and, and got and got thinking because. I'm not here for that. <laughs> I mean, it's a competition that's meant to Hell make us struggle. struggle. What is... I remember what these are, but I can't remember what they are. <laughs> uh, well, the the same forward. The train? The train? I, like, you know, race car. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, how do one we of the do trains is... <laughs> Sorry, just to recap for Cal. One of the trains is a train, the other one is a seesaw with a set of five footprints on it. You've been told to all board together. The train departs at noon or when everybody is aboard. There is a big clock that says it's currently 5 to 12 noon. There are queues of mannequins at what looks like a set of weighing scales. Um, yeah, so that's right. about it. Weighing scales, uh, seesaw, get on board, palindrome city. So we need to weigh all of the mannequins and put them in order so that they're heavy next heavy next heavy lightest into the middle that's not a palindrome i would Are like they... to speak that story point i just got for a clue okie dokie <laughs> <laughs> story point spent um you notice that all of the mannequins are holding tickets and they are not going to palindrome city where are they going okay. I'll, look, I'll look at a ticket um, they're going to a place called Burton on Trent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the mannequins do not have tickets for Palindrome City. So they need to go on the other train? 
There's the rocking, the one with the fancy seesaw, and then the train that looks like a train. Oh, okay, right. I'll clarify something. The seesaw doesn't have wheels on it. It's not one of those up, down, like manual yeah. push you along things oh, you okay. see in the Wiley Coyote cartoons. Um, it is just a seesaw on the tracks that looks like it might need to be balanced when people step upon it. Huh. So we use the weigh ourselves and use the mannequins to offset our weight. Well, there, there's a scale right here. If we weigh ourselves and then, but we don't even do that. I don't. Hey, like, don't. Know. So there's actually it is it is just a seesaw then, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cal's gonna get on one side of the seesaw and start seesawing. <laughs> <laughs> so then Pete will join him. <laughs> Right, this is important. Where, and feel free to move your character, where do you step onto the seesaw? My character's here. Oh, I gotta zoom out. I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah, sorry, they're in the bottom right hand corner. All right. Um... So the seesaw's above you. That's my representation, everybody. My artistic skills are not great. Fantastic. You love to see it. Uh, I, I guess just on the, the area I'm closest to, you know? Like, I'm just, I'm not like looking to get on at a specific point. So, can I'll just like steps onto the seesaw and starts like. Pete will go to the flip side on the opposite end. I think so. Okay. Pete, Pete's got to be the heaviest one here. What so... happens is, let me just pause you right there. What is Cal and Pete step on? The seesaw tips back towards Cal and then slightly towards Pete. You hear a train whistle go off, which I'll try not deafen everybody. I love that toy. Um, I really wish it, I really wish that it wasn't so loud that it peaked your mic so we couldn't hear it. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, put it farther. Yeah, you, you gotta move the mic like far away and then like blow it to the side. Nope, still peak. Damn peaking. it! Well, I have this very love. I have this very lovely train whistle from Disney World. <laughs> um, sadly, it's too loud. <laughs> too loud for the internet. Never mind. Um, and you hear it. <clears throat> the clock ticks up to four minutes to noon, and you feel yourself moved back onto the train platform. But well, that was weird. So do we all have to get on at the same time, which means we gotta figure out the solution before we jump on. So yeah. we, I, I reckon we have to be at one end, the mannequins have to be at the other end. We need to weigh ourselves and weigh the mannequins and then position the mannequins in the same position that we stand in corresponding to the weight. Are they, how, do we, how do we the mannequins are, on when we get on? Are they color coded in any way or are they just all the same identical? They are, are all they? completely identical. Okay. Identical and unremarkable, you might say. I just got a what? stupid idea, so I'm not doing that. Um <laughs> I mean, it's an idea. <laughs> so step through it one at a time. So you're talking about looking at the scales. Yeah. Right. So the sc the scales being separate from the seesaw, I guess I'll Cal will weigh himself. Yeah. Cal steps onto the weighing scales, and the big pointy like um, yeah arrow pointer swings around to six. Apparently, I weigh six. All right. Okay. Let me give this a go. And then Pete will step on it. Pete steps on and it goes around to five. Apparently yes. I'm a five, dude. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Something <laughs> goes on next. Okay, all right, go ahead. So if he goes around to four. Okay, right. cool. I assume this will make me three. Good job. No, nope, yours is <laughs> Seven. Five. five. Yeah, the Black Ranger is five. All right. I'm okay, but nobody looked. It's not giving weight, Kim. It's just giving you a number. It's a, it's a, it's not a, it's not a weight thing. Don't unless there's on. And unless the there's a mathematical. Four. All right. Now we may as well start weighing mannequins to see, like, just you know, get a get a control, see what's up. So, so, so we got pick up a mannequin, any one of them. Wait, well, wait. What's we've everyone's got, numbers? We've got four, four, okay. five, five, and six. Pink is four. Okay. Black. Put Let's Cal yeah, in the middle. Four. Black is five. Yellow is six. Green is five. Blue is four. 
Yeah, Cal in the middle, me in black, and then blue and pink. Can I same. just straddle the middle of the seesaw? <laughs> same, same forwards as it is backwards. Yep, so are you all going to jump on the seesaw at the same time? Yeah, yes. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Should we move on to it, or we're just going to say where we're going? No, you can just say where you're going, that works. Cool. I don't mind. So, I'm assuming that you all line up, and then you all take a step on at the same time, and a beautiful thing, and you hear... Was that quiet enough? No. 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 Right. No. Worth a try. I, it tells kinda, everybody. I mean, I heard it a little oh, bit. I, I whistled a little bit just to make up for the fact that we couldn't hear it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can <laughs> tell. The way it does it, it's got like four slightly different pitched whistles. So as you blow in the top, it goes four ways, and it sounds really cool. And you get mint, like ridiculous sizes. Anyway, I digress. So you step on, you hear the whistle blow. Imagine it. Um, and then you feel the sensation of the seesaw just starts to move whilst it's perfectly level. Way. All right. We're going level for a wrap. Um, cool. Uh, Cal is gonna Cal is gonna turn to Peter, and I never mind. I I as I said what I said, I completely forgot the lyrics to Magic Carpet Ride. So I'm just gonna sit here and be mad about it. A whole new world. <laughs> oh God! Not, not that no. one. <laughs> but we <laughs> can find. Why don't you come with me, little girl, on a magic carpet ride? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember. The, oh, I don't remember the lyrics. I think those are some of them. Yes. Okay. Thank you. What's happening now? What the hell? What the <laughs> I hate it. Now? Thanks. You've been presented with a giant. I wanted something that was like a shooting gallery, but without it being a shooting gallery. <laughs> so this is very much token representation with a little bit of, well, a lot of theater of the mind. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I hate it. Thanks. I get it. Oh. Whip cream not included. <laughs> I know, isn't that? I mean, it's Hasbro, which is, you know, kind of tied up in the Power Rangers. There's a very adjacent <laughs> link there. <laughs> Whatever you yeah. say, boss. <laughs> For some reason, they bought it off Bandai. I'm sad about that. At times. Let me find my table. Okay. The little sour gumdrop who's not on screen at the moment says... Well done. You've made it to the next challenge. Welcome to the pie so gallery. Does the, does the gumdrops like arms and legs like float like next? Like does he not have? Uh, not yeah, while, yeah. While he's talking, Cal is like, put like putting a <laughs> hand through the space. <laughs> Black what? and Wally. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> he just slaps your hand away. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of these levels are there, dude? All right, geez, um, fine, right, as man. many as we have time for. Um, <laughs> he was talking to the Pete was talking to the Gumble dude, by the way. All right, he just looks at you <laughs> with this very dry and sardonic look, and just goes, "Pie the bad guys, save don't pie the civilians," and he disappears. Behind him is um, a series of booths with a different coloured light above each one. A pink one, a blue one, a yellow one, a green one, and somehow a black light. Um, and, yeah. So there's, like, four little booths, all in a row, facing, kind of, away and into the distance. Uh, so do you guys do you guys think that the show, like, adapts to each contestant? Or it's just, like, a freaky coincidence? Or do you think when they're kidnapping people, they specifically look for people tied to these colours? Like, I'm, I'm sure we'll eventually learn. I think they just kick the Power Rangers and try to drive us crazy. And Wait, there's more Power Rangers? Ideally. <laughs> it, maybe, if we get out of this. Alright. Uh, take a gallery. Well, Zordon's going to have some explaining to do. Why, why do I feel like this is going to be like uh, the scene in Men in Black? The first one, where he's got got a, he's got all the cardboard cutouts out of there, and there's all aliens and whatnot, 
and he, he decides to shoot the little girl because all of the other dudes are just like aliens minding their own business and she's like trying to build a nuke. <laughs> okay, um, so what's going on right now? Like in the actual booth? Is it just lights? Sorry, so, <laughs> trying to focus. Okay, as you step into the booth, kind of ahead of you, you can see what looks like a traditional um, uh, shooting gallery. Um, mm-hmm. But rather than there being guns, in front of you is like a round cannon with a drawstring on the back that you can pull. And that, you, I would hope, assume, is how you're going to shoot the targets. Once you're all in position, you hear ding, 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 and some like light-hearted music starts playing in the background. And up pops your first set of targets. Now, how we're going to do this is you will all, for each round, you'll be making an alertness check to see if you clock what it is that is in front of you. And then a targeting check to see if you, well, shoot it, frankly. So. This will go very badly. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm hoping. Um, No, it'll be fine. So. Pink, you see a putty pop up. A cardboard cutout of a putty. Green, you see a human. Blue, you get a putty. Yellow gets a human. Black gets a putty. Make a difficulty five um, alertness check. Well, ha! Well, I got good news, guys. Did you miss? We have eight story points again. <laughs> oh my we god. Have, we have nine story points. Because uh, Pink also fumbled. <laughs> I, I'm going to use a story point because that's ridiculous. I rolled a seven on the okay. alertness. So you absolutely spot that yours is a putty. You get ready to shoot it. Oh, no. That's you not a 50. good. I rolled My a bullet. seven to shoot. Right. Now let me back up a sec. So, Matt used a story point to re-roll. Cal, did you yep. say you generated a story point? I generated a story point. Okay. So, alertness-wise... Right, I need to work out how I'm going to note this down. Huh. So, blue, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to refer to you by colours because that's what's on my sheet. Blue spotted that it was a putty... Pete, how did you do? 13. 13. You spotted that yours was a human. Um, Pink spotted that yours was a putty. Yellow did not spot that there was a human. And black, sorry, Sarah, how did you do? 15. 15. You spotted that yours is a putty. So I need black, yellow, uh, pink and blue to do a targeting roll, difficulty 12. All right, there's no chance. <laughs> Can we aim? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Y'all ready for this snag roll? Let's get it. I'm aiming. Aiming. We're, we're kind of hoping that you snag it so that yeah. you don't hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I mean, it, it worked out perfectly. I got a five. That's correct. Awesome. I, I rolled a I'm, seven. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Even with aiming, I rolled a seven. Okay. I rolled two fours on my d20, and it feels bad. So, Michael definitely hit. I like to imagine Cow is just like looking at like this the the like the booth like around him, and then as the like the cardboard cut up, I was like ah, and then he fired by accident. So you got a five. I got a you? hit and an order of success or degree of success. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. He doubled that difficulty, and then ah. nailed it. Um, sorry, Pink, how did you do? You absolutely nailed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, fingers. And green. No, you knew what you were doing. You missed it. Okay, cool. Right, round two. Um, Pink, you see a cardboard cutout of a puppy dog appear. Green, you see a puppy. Aww. Blue, you see a cute little kitten. Yellow, you see a putty. Oh, Black, you see a bunny rabbit. 
Um, this is uh, alertness seven, difficulty seven. The nine with a four no. on my D four. Nine. Okay. So... I critically perceived my target. I got a seven on the seven. Okay, so you're okay. Sorry, Green, how did you do? I got a nine. Okay, so you're okay. Cal, how are, we, how are you? Five, Three. did you say? Three. Ooh. <laughs> um, and Sarah, how did you do the bunny rabbit? Oh, you failed. <laughs> I won, yeah. So I will need Sarah to make a difficulty 10 targeting attack. Um, and yeah, that's it. Oh, oh no, uh, and Michael as well. You need to do a difficulty 10 targeting attack. 15. Oh. Amazing. Oh no, not amazing. <laughs> Take that, <Ten>. rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you killed a bunny. Just absolutely bodied. So yes, I need to explain because this is happening in my head and I've not shared it with the viewers. So, in the first round, where Yellow uh, saw a human, thought they were a putty, and went to shoot them with comedy custard pie, um, because they missed, they actually then succeeded, ironically. <laughs> so mm -hmm. by missing the person you're trying to hit, all good. Whereas in the second round, where our lovely Black Ranger Sarah... Um, took aim at a poor innocent bunny rabbit and fired a custard pie at it, she hit it square in the face. One very custard pied bunny rabbit. Third round. Pink, you see a plant holding hos a hostage. Green, you see a putty holding a hostage. Blue, you see a robot holding a hostage. Yellow, you see pudgy pig holding a hostage. Black, you see baboo holding a hostage. Wait, so they all have hostages? They all have hostages. Um, it's been a very good day for the Axis of Evil. Um, please make an alertness 10 difficult... Uh, uh, alertness 10 difficult... Oh my god. A difficulty 10 alertness check. Well, that's better. Yes. 19. Critically success. Here we go. 21. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to hit this thing. I hope you understand that. <laughs> There's no chance. <laughs> Sorry, Cal, what did you say yours was? 21. Nice. And, um, and what was yours? Another alertness. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, 12. Perfect. Right. So you're all going to make a targeting difficulty 15 attack. All right. And uh, what is, what does aiming do for me? One of them. Okay, so it removes it removes my snag. Can, can not, everyone aim? No, still have yeah. snag. Can so, everyone aim? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so oh, aiming does yeah, nothing for me then? You get the upshift, but if you, you have the snag. Yeah. So I roll snag with a D two? Yep. Yeah. All right. Evil. <laughs> I think I'd much rather if you just have snag and get upshift. You still roll with snag, but if you are trained in a skill and get a downshift, you don't roll with a snag. Right. So if you had a D2 and got a downshift, you'd still just roll a 1D20, not 2D20, take the lowest. All right. I, I had completely forgotten that anyone can use the aim action. Yeah, no. <laughs> so this whole time I've just been rolling with a D2. What's the, <laughs> what, what's the difficulty? 15. 15. I rolled 15 on the dot. Perfect. Did you... Did Cal yeah, miss? Yes, of course I did. The hell? Oh. <laughs> Cal Custard Pies, the human. Kimberly? Can, can I try a volley shot to try and hit the bad guy that Cal missed as well? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> you, should, you should have worded it in a way that you shot Cal's like... Do a thing <laughs> and like knocked it back on course. <laughs> okay, uh, aim for both, and I'm just gonna roll 15s. Yeah, build me one moment. Let's see if I can hit. So, 
Everybody succeeded apart from... <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> so Cal's poor human gets right. hit by Cal's pie and then hit by Kim's pie as well. Kimberly, did you roll for your own? There we go, eight. That is a success on a second oh, Fantastic. Um, yeah, but what y'all what didn't know is that that human was actually a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> it was a changeling pie. It may have been a hostage, but it was still a bad person. <laughs> Cal has experience fighting these. Okay. Round four. Pink, you have a clown making a balloon model. Kill it. Green, <laughs> you have a clown on a tiny bike. Kill it! Blue, <laughs> you have a clown aiming a custard pie. Kill it! Yellow, yours is a clown with a squirty flower. It has to die. It, it yeah, has and to black, die. Yours is a clown that is juggling. Alertness seven. Actually, no. I'm not going to even make you roll alertness checks for this. They're clowns. They need to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, around. Targeting 12. Targeting 12? You guys aren't going to believe this. Oh, I got a 4. <laughs> you mean... I did it. Ah, well done. I rolled I the 21. Thing. The one thing I actually wanted to kill. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I like I to... Rolled... Have... <laughs> yeah, I rolled a twenty-one. Clowns suck. I I like to imagine that instead of firing the pie, Cal just actually took out his gun and shot it. <laughs> if you would like that to be what you do, I'll I will allow it. <laughs> Blade Buster just because I actually hit it. I got a twelve. Amazing. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled. I rolled an 11 and a 16 on the die, and then my D2 from aiming with the upshift gave me a 1. I got that okay. 12. <laughs> nice. I 21. I <laughs> evaporate a clown. <laughs> evaporate um, the clown. I'm wishing I had that pistol. <laughs> <laughs> um, round 5. There's only 6 rounds. so it's... All right. Um, pink, you get a putty dressed as an old lady. Green, you get a putty dressed as a chicken. Blue, you get a putty dressed as a businessman. Business. Yellow, you have a putty dressed as an octopus. I thought you were going to say something like, you have a civilian dressed as a putty. <laughs> <laughs> you have a civilian dressed as a... No. You have a putty dressed as a llama. Oh, the I rolled a 22, and I crit on my alertness check. Nice. Right. Alertness um, first. What was the difficulty for the alertness, sorry? Um, 12. No. No. <laughs> 15. Uh, that is Hello. a 7. No, an 8, sorry. Okay. So, and... Michael and also oh critical success definitely you've scouted that llama out straight away so I need green blue and black to make a targeting difficulty 12 please and you can use your upshift on aim so the llama is you got it 16 <laughs> I believe that I rolled a 24 or a 26 sorry oh my god <laughs> I crit on both my dice. Fantastic. And then the final round. Pink. Oh no, you're lost. Um, green. <laughs> you have what looks like an orange Power Ranger pop up in front of you. Blue. You have a silver Power Ranger pop up in front of you. Yellow. You have a purple Power Ranger pop up in front of you. My dream prestige class. How'd you know? <laughs> Black. You have the Omega Red Power Ranger pop up in front of you. And Pink, you have the Gold Ranger pop up in front of you. Are we gonna you be need to words? decide whether you're going to target them or not. Can I roll an insight check? You can. <laughs> yeah, let's do so, that. Wait, alertness, alertness to whether we fire or not, or what? what are we doing? Right, hang on. It's just this is just your personal character choice as to whether you fire upon the ranger that you're facing. It's still a cardboard cutout. Yeah. Nah. 
I don't I don't see why I would. It's a ranger. Rangers what's, are allies. What's the difficulty? For the uh, alertness. Yeah. No, for the targeting. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> um, how was Sophie's insight check? It's an 18. 18, okay. You reckon it's a piece of cardboard, but it's probably a malintent is behind it somewhere. <laughs> malintent. <Insane>. So, <laughs> if you choose to attack, roll an attack with targeting. There is no alertness in this one. It's just whether you choose to attack them mm -hmm. or not. It's entirely character choice. What's nah. the difficulty for if the shot? If you choose to attack, the target that you're trying to hit is your own defense, your own evasion defense. That sucks. I I wanted to incite my Omega Red. I got a crit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an evil cardboard cutout, man. It's coming straight for you. They're coming right at us! Kim <laughs> gets Okay, that, yeah, I'm going to uh, insert and check my one too. That whipped cream pie and goes to her lip. Yeah. And as she does, she say, just says, there's no gold ranger and throws it. And misses, but <laughs> that, that's her uh, whole... right, didn't know that we didn't know that Kim was a gold ranger denier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's also no orange ranger. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh... I'm not gonna try to pie a fellow ranger. Rangers are allies in the fight against evil. <laughs> we know they can come in all different colors. That titanium guy. Look, that Cal doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> And Sophie, Sophie tenses up at the mention of the titanium guy, and then she just does. She she considers shooting, and then she's like, "Nah." <laughs> Wait, is there an actual pie in the cannon or in the whatever? launcher? Yeah, yeah. She takes the pie from the launcher and starts eating it. Just take take your helmet off and eat the pie. <laughs> At the mention of the titanium guy, Kim just looks over. She's like, "Titanium guy? There's no titanium ranger. Is there a titanium ranger?" Spoilers. Uh, now, now's not the time to talk about it. And um, I'm gonna Sophie go with a definitive just... no. <laughs> Things get really wonky in the future. You have no okay. idea. Okay. After the Power Ranger cardboard cutout round, all the lights come back up, the plinky plunky music stops. Um, and I, I, I offer I think, my yeah. teammates pie. Yeah. You can sit oh, down and have pie. Vict and that I see. Is Victory like pie. Place I will take, eat take this. Place. As Cal just like sort of pushes it into the mask. Kim is going to Delicious. take her helmet off. And it is Kim. She's younger. Say... So Oh, cool. eleven years younger than most of you recognize her, but it's Kim. Oh, let me just make a token bigger. It actually is the real Kim. A hundred percent. She's Kim Shady. Yeah, she's the real Shady. All of the other Kim Shadies are just imitating. <laughs> but it's like Kim at our age or yeah, slightly it, younger. No, it's the it's the it's the the actual like Power Ranger Kim, it is Power not Ranger the Kim, Kim that died in the future. Yeah. Cool. Well, please stay tuned, everybody. There are more shenanigans and maybe some combat to come. Um, we're going to take a 10 or so, 12-ish minute break. Um, we'll see you, hopefully, on the other side. Let it be known that the only target that died was the clown. <laughs> <laughs>
then here we go we are back we're back we're we back. are back 
Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and anybody who doesn't subscribe to either of those two categories. Back at it hey. again at the Krispy Kreme. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you join us on our very special, not very special, um, Halloween episode where I, usually your Red Ranger, have taken over as GM for one session only, I promise. <laughs> when can um, we do a violence? When can we do a violence, <laughs> Jay? Do a violence? <laughs> yes. Um, I so, agree. The uh, Rangers and chose violence. I love it. Uh, <laughs> currently under shenanigans, pending violence. Um, they, as they complete the uh, <laughs> killing pies with clowns challenge, as it is killing now to be known. Um, they then find themselves teleported or pumph into um, a long stone chamber upon which there is a teal line on the floor and another one of the pedestals that they're used to seeing. On that pedestal are a number of different bottles with potions in them and sat on the pedestal, because he's only little, is our sour little gumdrop. Hey, what's up, dude? Um, he says, you have to get through the correct portal at the other end of the room. In order to pass through the portal, you must drink a potion. The potions can't pass over the teal line. A timer will begin once you've drank a potion, once you've all drank a potion and are behind the line. May the odds be eternally entertaining. Toodles. And with that, he disappears. I forgot he was meant to say toodles really dryly at the end of every introduction. I imagine that he has. I'm going to punt that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit it really hard. Right. So yes, there are two portals at the far end of the room. One with a green light, one with a yellow light. There is a red line drawn on the floor uh, running down the room. And then there's the teal line that you mentioned going across the room. That red line, you get the distinct impression, is a bit like uh, adverts where they're doing cleaning on two sides of the room. So it shows that you can either go into the left portal or the right portal. Mm. Um, right, should we... Let's look at these impressions. Yeah, are they labelled? They are not labelled, but they all look the same apart from the bottles of different uh, shapes. So it's the same coloured liquid in each one, but all of the bottles are a different shape. This is all these potion bottles, and then one of them is just like a, a gallon of bleach. <laughs> oh no. What if we just don't drink the potion? <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, we could test that theory. Does somebody want to try and go across the line? Yep. Uh, uh, roughly how many potions do, are there? Is it just one per, or are there a bunch? There's a bunch. Alright, I'm gonna pick one up and just chuck it across the line. Because he um, specifically told us the potions can't cross the teal line, so I want to see if it, like, hits a wall. I'm gonna get it's, ready to catch it if it can't. It derezzes and reappears back on the table. Hmm. Can we cross the barrier? Absolutely. It is just a line on the floor. So, so far we, so good. I mean, should we test if we can get through one of the pools? I don't particularly want to drink whatever that is because yeah, I know. don't feel too comfortable about putting a random liquid inside my body either. Cal's gonna take a shot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with green because I'm green. And sure. cool, and cool. Teamwork. <laughs> I was. Something for science. Yes, trying one in each. <laughs> Sophie's gonna attempt to walk across the barrier without drinking anything, just to see what happens. Yep. What is the? What does it yeah, taste like? Cal right, has in fact drunk a potion. <laughs> That's really? fine. It order... tastes quite pleasant. There's nothing the... wrong with it. You don't feel anything has happened to you at all at this point in time. Right. I mean, I'm he, did, he did say we must drink a potion, but, you know, I don't trust I'm gonna him. I'm going to drink another one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to examine the portal before as I... As Sarah and Peter get to the portal, a bit like the rooms in the um, command centre, to you it's just solid. 
Okay. Well, I guess we have to drink a stupid potion. I mean, worth worth a shot. Should we test the other one? Guys, these are pretty good. (laughs) Like Kool Aid. Cal is drunk. (laughs) Cal has drunk three of them at this point. They're like alley somewhere with no kidneys. I have a conversation. They're like space Capri Suns or something. Yeah, totally. (laughs) That's exactly what they are. Uh, um, yeah. These are these are pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna like hold you. The up. yellow portal is exactly the same. Cool. You said I the bottles drink were one. different shapes. Are, is there any similarity between the shapes, or are they just completely different? Sorry, that was a different shade. So oh, one is green, one is oh, yellow. Sorry. That's the only difference. I was going to ask about the shapes of the bottles and if they match the shapes of the. <laughs> No, but, so yeah, the bottles are different shapes, but the portals are just different coloured lights. Well, now that I've drunk four of these, get off me. I'm going to head up to this yellow one. You're going to lose all of your kidneys. <laughs> you will never feel... find them all. <laughs> you can feel it give slightly, but it's still not giving way. You do recall the words that the Sour Little Gundrop said that said that you all need to drink a potion and be behind the line for it to start. Mm. All right. Uh, I'm going to head back over and grab a fifth. Come back to us, brother. And Kim just takes a potion at random and just drinks it. Yeah. I I hate this. I hate this so much. Specifically, again, sticking with the old theme, I'm going to go for this little green one right here. All right. Okay. Behind. You're just going to line up on the line. Yep. Drink a potion, get on the line. I, am... I now have six. <laughs> Are you joining us, Sophie? Oh, God. Drink a potion and and go forward. Okay. You now that you're all in position, you've all had a potion and you're ready. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you feel a warm fuzziness come over you, guys. Hmm. That last and one. And then you will blink, and to either side of you, a stood a llama. llamas. Now Ooh. you should all be able to control the llama token that's directly in front of you. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So, here's how it's going to work. Oh, there's something else I need to do. Bear with. Bear with. Are y'all guys ready for animal handling checks? Yeah! No. No. I hope you are. Also, no. Um, so, yeah. A llama, he's supposed to be dead. No, you've all been turned into llamas. <laughs> oh, so we are llamas. We you are llamas. Are the llamas. <laughs> Green Ranger Michael, try, try just try and keep Lava. control. Lava. Do this. Are, are we able to talk? Are we talking, <laughs> Lama? It's a talking Lama. Demon like Lama. I, sh- I feel like I should have taken at least four more of those potions <laughs> before I no longer had fingers. <gasps> um. Can this we is speak? Unfortunate. Uh, Are we talking, yes, Lama? You can speak. This is incredibly unfortunate. I can now no longer pick up and drink those potions. I hope this is temporary because <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fire a bow with this. As soon as you're turned into llamas, the table retracts into the floor and the wall no. behind you <laughs> moves forwards. Oh, well, that's hey. now. upsetting. Damn it. Here's how it. Here's how this will work. In each round, you can move up to four squares. You need to work out which of those arches you're going to go through. Or which you're going to aim for, at least. In order to do this, just to make it a bit easier, we're going to use your normal character tokens to show where you would intend to go, and then we'll make checks, okay? All right. Okay. okay. I'm going to go for green, because... Yeah, let's just pick a door and I'll go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna say green. I'm yeah. gonna hit up yellow. <laughs> okay, All right, hang on, pink, come back, come back, come back. You can move four squares. So, squares if you move in four squares in your first round, drop oh, your four... counter where you'd like to end up. We was using the 
Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to... No, it's okay. So we're doing round by round intention. Yeah. So when I find my notes, I need Are you we moving from the llama square. It's four from uh, the, yes, llama, from the square, llama square. Yeah. The Two, extra square three. is not going to matter too much. Why can I not find? Ah, here we are. So for round one, I need you to make me a difficulty fifteen animal handling check because you have just recently been turned into a llama mm. so how on earth do you use four llama legs <laughs> so how I'd, do like you to, llama? I'd like to use a story point because i did okay. in fact roll a one <laughs> i rolled a one so i'd like to <laughs> take, use a story point to re-roll that yep not much better like to roll i would like to use a story point as well to re-roll my one okay Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I don't have animal handling. This is going to be an adventure. <laughs> I also don't have animal handling. I rolled a 13. This is going to be awful. I rolled I a, a 13. Animal handling. I thought okay. I had a d4, but apparently... Who no. got above 15? No. I Nobody. rolled a 13. Okay. Right. There is a bit of a grid <laughs> to this. So, if you got <laughs> within three points of 15, so... 15, 14, 13, or 12, you can move three squares forwards. If you were... So... Yeah, down to the... If you were four to six points under, you can move two squares. Four to... So, minimum of nine? What if you were nine yes. points under? If you were nine points under, uh, you can move one square. Cool. What if you were seven? That's less than nine, so one square. <laughs> yeah. Less than nine, more than six. And if you fumbled, nobody fumbled because they all read rolled. If you got a uh, five or below, nobody did, did they? No. No. Perfect. Okay. And the wall moves forwards. <laughs> Two, three, four. So, next round, from where your llama currently is, move your ranger token four squares forward to show where you would like to head. Yeah, so me and Matt can only move one square forward with our ranger token. And then... Yeah, no, each round is you can move with... You can move four squares again. Oh, yeah, yeah, but from where from, our llama is... From the llama is... Okay, oh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, my brain was not with yours for a minute. And then when you've... Michael, there's a, there's a couple of you that didn't actually move your llamas. We nope, did. we did. We did. They just only moved one square. Just, we just only moved one square. Yeah, we just didn't do very well. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so, this second round, now that you're settling into your llama legs a bit, you need to roll a difficulty 10 animal handling check. Boy. Oh, Made that feels one. bad. Thirteen, dear boy. Hey. Yeah, can I make the argument that maybe... Oh, shit. Acrobatics <laughs> could also work? Not with four legs, it can't. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> so, um... The good news is I rolled a natural 20. The bad news is I also rolled a 3, which means my result is 3. Because I roll with a snag. Oh, I succeeded. I got a 13 and a 12. I got a natural 20 and a 10. So, yay for me. <laughs> okay, Lord. Well, you've got a 10, so that met it, so you've made it. So, yes, this is difficulty 10. So, if you got 10 or above, you may move your four squares forwards. If you got seven or above, you can move three squares. If you got four or above, two squares. If you got one or above, I'd hope you get more than one. Um, three, uh, one square. Okay. Come for the right. yellow door, Cal. Hmm. Oh boy, I'm already there. Follow the yellow brick road. Sophie, you have to pick a sign side of that line. Sorry. <laughs> Listen. 
<laughs> I'm just dad. going on a. <laughs> I've tried to just go on a straight line and swerve well, later. You try to keep a llama on the straight and narrow, and you're making him choose side <laughs> evil. Um, That's okay. absolutely Third rude. round, penultimate round. Um, you're settling in quite well to your llama legs now. This one's only difficulty seven. So pick four squares you would like to move forwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I rolled a three. <laughs> way off board. I'm just going to oh, say, hey, when I built Kimberly Hart, I rolled a animal handling was not a skill I was expecting to use. <laughs> right. I got a four. This is I absolutely not revenge for me being savaged by an um, ostrich in one of our first games. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and I couldn't get a seven. I also got a three. So I got. I, got a, I rolled a fourteen and an eighteen, so I've got a fourteen. Damn. A whole yeah, bunch of us one. just rolled threes on the die. Yeah, four threes and a fourteen. <laughs> if you got well, threes, I mean, you can move four. two squares. I have a four. Does that give me one more square, or is it still just two? Right. What happens mm. next? Yeah. Wait, we'll... Jay. Four mm. under is how many squares? Sorry. Yeah, if I um, if I got a if I got a four, is it the same as if I got a three? Seven. If you got a four, you can move three squares. Sick. Yeah. And three is two, three is two squares. Two squares, yes. Yep. See, having written down the table of how this works, it would have made a lot more sense if I'd broken it down differently. I can see that now. What happens now? Because the wall is accelerating. <laughs> The wall is accelerating. Oh. Yeah, mostly because I've not been moving it the right number of squares because I've been having too much fun with a bunch of llamas. <laughs> you, and it's lovely because you're all in a line rather than stacked up, is as the wall gets to you, it doesn't aggressively or dangerously, but it nudges you along quicker than you're used to moving. <laughs> so it's coaxing you and you move. It's like an old Mario game. Another couple, yeah, exactly that. In a platformer kind of way, it moves you forwards a bit further. This is the final round. Can so, I ask, why is the one llama? I don't know. Why is the blue llama <laughs> askew? I don't know. That <laughs> might be llama weird. that's off to the side. There we go. Um, your Drop. final round, your final four squares, which should line you up with the portal, is difficulty five because you've got the hang of it with your llama legs now. Drunk llama. I? <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled two llama. 14s. Yeah. I rolled a three. Now I rolled a 15. I rolled a two and a, and a one. A two on the a two on the 20. I rolled a, two. a two on the 20 and a one on my skill <laughs> dice. How many do I get to move, boss? You... <laughs> my god, this is hilarious. I've never seen so many fails. In... Oh, dear me. So... I got a th okay. I got a whole ass three <laughs> drunken llama I rolled you got three so five. 14 so you get to move three squares cal oh sick love I that i rolled me. a i rolled a 14 okay you absolutely get to move all four squares why are all these llamas rotating <laughs> <laughs> because it's revolting. funny one two three four Woo sprinting llama <laughs> drunk <laughs> llama it just so slides up to the gate on its head. There is this beautiful <laughs> sight as the llamas start off like all over the place, like Bambi on ice, and then gradually <laughs> they start to get the hang of it, and they start galloping through, apart from one with a pink bow around her neck for some reason, who is just constantly like somebody's glued walnut shells to her feet. Clippity cloppity, clippity However, as the wall advances, they do get ushered along and shoved through the green portal. Now, had any of you inspected closely? There were signs on the portals. There was a right one and a wrong one. <laughs> but never mind. We can come back to that in a roundup. Anyway, you jump through the... Well, you jump... Some of you prance through gracefully. Some of you get shoved through very ungracefully. You know, I think I think my biggest mistake was not taking an additional nine shots. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I messed up. <laughs> and you feel that familiar teleportation 
Womph. And what's that there for? There is a circle on my map and I don't know why I put it there. Oh well. It can stay there. Preparing for an AoE attack! <laughs> I'm not that prepared, I promise. Really? I never would have guessed from the, the, the Pi game. <laughs> the, the Hasbro Pi map. Okie dokie. Oh, excuse me. You arrive on this final map, and in front of you stands... I wrote this. Yes. In front of you stands a figure. She's mostly facing away from you. She has a fantastically big hat. Open the picture, Jane. You've got a visual cue as to what you're talking about. Ah, uh, no, even when you, even you. when he's not even when he's not present, Jay will still put in the cue jokes. That was an accidental cue pun, but you know. Yeah, Thank not you like, no. I like, like not like the tickets business. I have for Safeway. Those are those are uh, incidental cue puns. Yeah. <laughs> Take one and give one to a friend. Um, uh, stood before get you. Get out of here. <laughs> is a figure in like a dark, um, not trench coat, but raincoat cinched at the waist with a beautiful belt. She has a pink head scarf going up the back of her head underneath quite a large brimmed hat. It's a witch. She's... Burn it. Sorry, Come what? Come on, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a witch. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I man. Better. Um, she has white hill boots and fishnets you can see just going up the lower leg to underneath the um, raincoat um, da, 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 da. the figure partially turns and the head is mostly obscured by the fabulous hat but you see this very pale almost iridescent skin and velvety red immaculately painted lips oh how wonderful our rangers I'm so glad you're here I'd like to report the most terrible crime. So would we. Can I shoot this woman? <laughs> At which point the little sour Can you gum drop, getting a bad feeling? The little sour gum drop appears for just a second and very sarcastically goes, What crime? She disagrees kick... again and she goes, This one. She tilts her head coquettishly as she glances over her shoulder. And you see what looks like an LED panel where her eye socket should be. You can't make out what was on the display a second before, but it's replaced with an emoji that winks. And then with a flourish, she throws her arms up. The raincoat flies into the background, disappearing into space, revealing a torso strapped with large gauge shells, as in ammunition shells, not little mermaid shells. Mm -hmm. um, with large gauge shells, presumably for the large gauge shell launcher she has in her hand that must have been obscured by the fabulous coat. Just there is say a... shotgun! <laughs> <laughs> it's not a shotgun. These shells, they're like that round. They're like a good. And that is the size I prefer my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> to reach their own. It's a there is a shell. Technically. As a round from the shotgun slash cannon slash shell launcher, the weapon is launched into the air just above the team, and it bursts into a dense shower of chunky, glittering confetti in all the colours of the ranger spectrum. As it cascades down over you, <sighs> she laughs with a very nasal laugh. A cackle, you might say. <laughs> and that's where I'd like you to roll initiative, please. It's a shame. Gonna take it's a shame the red to ranger out. I can't follow. Yeah, it's it's a shame that no one here has the ability to follow me. But where's, where's Q when we need him? That bastard. Don't, don't act like beat. this is all we need Q for. <laughs> to be fair. I mean, honestly, to be fair. To be fair, it kind of is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have one job on this stupid ship. It's stupid, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I rolled a three for initiative. I hope you're happy, because I am sad. <laughs> I didn't do much better. I rolled a six. Thirteen. Am I going first? Is that what's happening? <laughs> give me, okay. give me a oh, thank three. You. Give me a three. Mm -hmm. There we go. I can, I'll just put my own initiative. I have an my initiative, own... How cool is this? 
My own sad, sad initiative. Did you just call me an initiative monkey? <laughs> no, I called you something else. So when I'm ready to go, do I click the little arrow? When you're ready to change the turns, yeah. Okay, how do I make it sort everybody into the right order? It doesn't, you have to you manually have to do it. drag and drop them. Uh, yep. Isn't there a... So you would do... Can I not hit this, this, sort numerically descending? This. In theory, yes, but it seems to work about 40% of the time. Roll 20! Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Yay, roll 20! And it would also move the story points. Max, so, I've just noticed, is that a gold ranger t-shirt you're wearing? It is, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Hey. Wait, it's violence time! Yes! It's violence again. <laughs> happy, happy Sophie. Yeah! Cool. Let no, violence it's... commence. Cue battle music. Go disco lights. Um... <laughs> Swings, um, Black Ranger, away you take it. Get it. Theoretically, we still have our power weapons already out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. One, Should they transform with us when we were llamas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you had llama themed power weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, power spits, power ear flick, power neck wall. It's gonna take take my stick, lift it up, and just I want to go home. <laughs> okay. And I'ma hurt this lady. 30, 30. What is my target number? Twenty-one. Oh Son ball. Of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Could have used my super crit earlier. Somebody's Feels using bad. story point. Maybe. Well, she just has a 21 and we're doomed. I've got a bunch of tokens. I'm going to chuff and use them. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. so <laughs> you aim. She sees the attack coming. Being fairly upfront about it, that's cool. And she just kind of <laughs> leans around the sound wave as it echoes over and she just goes. Mm, we on to you, Cal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up? It's your boy. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, what is my what is my movement again? I think I got yeah, I got thirty. Uh what those trays? It's your boy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's your boy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. No contingent actions. Nope. <laughs> Okay. Actually, you know what? I will use, I will use uh, my, uh, the my like. I will get some additional movement using. Okay. Using my speed act to get right, right. Yeah, right here, right here works. Okie dokie. Y'all need to. Wait, no. If you stay, if you stay in melee against against her, like right up in her face, uh. Peter's solo strike won't work. I have if no other like way right to fight. <laughs> no, she, but if you're not going to no. attack this turn... Oh, wait! Are you going to attack this turn? I can't. <laughs> okay, then... Okay. I just wanted to point that out for, like, mechanical reasons, but, you know. Okay. Now it is the lady's turn. And... Since lady. you are so, so, uh, since you are so close, Cal, mm -hmm. um, she is going to reach around behind her and pull out what looks very much like a baseball bat and take a swing at you. Cool. We yeah. have nine story points, right? Yep. Um. Oh wait, eight. We got eight. Yeah. We got a lot. You, you we got, yeah, we got a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to use one to buff my dis my defense by five. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So trying to hit a twenty. Okie dokie. She is that many, so actual oh, come on, dice. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of my story points and re-roll that natural one. Um <laughs> poo. That's a sixteen, so she swifts straight over your head. <laughs> oh, moving on to Pete and Green. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'll use my standard action to move just in front of the Black Ranger, if my thing would do as it's told. Thank you. And uh, then I'll use two free actions to move right next to y'all. Okay. And then I'm going to hit her really hard. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yes, I don't get my upshift. Uh, difficulty? 14. 14. But it's cool because I roll with it. Babushka. 19. Nice. Is that one point of damage? Uh, uh, uh. It is indeed. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Land. <clears throat> So sneaking around behind her, you savage her with your sword, and she kind of goes, yeah. And then we're on to Kim's turn. Yeah, that took her from behind. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> this guy stinks. Yeah, behave. <laughs> Kim is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, move around. As part of her movement, she's going to use her hard target, roll her acrobatic skill, which is only a d4. Add that to her evasion. Um, that is until the beginning of her next turn. Okay. And she is going to make an attack with her power. Okie dokie. Which will not be aimed because obviously she moved. And what is the difficulty for Z at uh, 16. 16. Oh, that hits. That is a critical, critical success. So, because we've not had Kimberly on the team before, paint us a picture with your wonderful words of how her attack looks. Kimberly, she sort of manoeuvres around the group, trying to keep everybody in her gaze. There's some uh, acrobatic flourishes there, including a hands-free cartwheel at the end when she draws her bow in midair, pulls it back, and just fires it right in towards the back of the... The lady. Seeing her do that on um, that overcomes, can, Pete's just going to say to everyone else, yeah, that's definitely Kim. Yeah. But she doesn't even know if she's hit. She's like, she's fired the bow and <laughs> follows through with the rest of the motion. Feet hit the ground. Oh. Okay. Um... So this bolt goes straight through the shoulder of um, the lovely lady, we'll call her, in front of you. Um, and she grunts. She looks like she's about to swear, but she, she looks up, she goes, Oh, I love you guys. You're in the right colour of pink and everything. Do you have any idea how long it's going to take to get all this glitter out of this, off of this suit? It says, Meh. You can't just take it to a dry cleaner. Literally no time. Just unmore. And remorph like... sparkly new, I guess. She doesn't have to know that. On to Sophie. Doesn't have a nice metallic chain, though. I would like to number one, um, take the F ship for aiming. Number two, I'd like to use a story point to roll with specialization. Okay. Okay, here we go. Woo! Okay, uh, that is. A 22 to hit. That will absolutely hit regardless. Uh, yeah. It's one target. It doesn't look as cool, but yeah. Uh, that's one point of damage, I think. Okay, dokie. And I'm just going to hang back and let everyone else do their thing. Awesome source. Back to the top of the round. Sarah. Ruined my scream me cone. Your ice cream cone. Yeah, that too. Yeah, <laughs> I can't scream anymore. There are people on the way. 
<laughs> so I will pull out my blade blaster in blaster formation. Take a free action to aim and shoot. You're going for 16? Remember your upshift with the blade plus. You get a blade blaster upshift from Sophie as well. I do have, yeah, it's a blade blaster upshift. So you're trying to hit 21. Yeah. yeah. Why just me? You paint me and I see what's happening. Yeah, it's she's just trying to manage her pool of tokens and she's <laughs> just had the shit beaten out of her. <laughs> mm hmm. They go really quickly as a GM, don't they? Yeah. It's all right. Fun and shenanigans is going to happen. This. <laughs> yeah. So while well, she's having turned around to speak to Kimberly, and then she turns to speak to Sophie, but before she does this bolt of energy, goes, past her nose. Do you mind? I was trying to have a conversation here. You are literally a kidnapper. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who she is at this point. Um, Cal, Look, if she turn. is if she is against us in this scenario, she works with the people kidnapping us. <laughs> most likely, but <laughs> aiding the best. You do not. You do not have a foot to stand on. <laughs> uh, yeah. F it. I'll I'll burn a, a personal power point to triple strike attack. Okay. Uh, what am I tr trying to hit? Fourteen. All right. First. That hits for sure. It's a 19 for the first one. Okay. Uh, the second one does not hit. I got a 7. And the last one... This also doesn't hit. So just one of them. Cool. <laughs> so, while she's sassing Sarah, this Tomfa just spins through the air and catches her in the... Um, in the... <laughs> In the wherever you decide to catch her. Uh, and she... Rib cage. Okay, catches her in the rib cage and she stumbles back a couple of squares. Or she would if I was on the right layer. She stumbles back <laughs> a short distance. Melodramatically. Uh, then I'm going to close distance. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. I'll, I'll leave. Hang it on, because I'm in the middle of a bit. Uh, wherever I put my notes. Da, 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 da. He says, wherever I put my notes. Well, I'd written it and I forgot where it is now. Anyway, mm -hmm. she goes, well, this is not very festive. And she picks her Again. shell. Again. <laughs> you are a kidnapper. <laughs> she picks a shell out of her bandolier, out of her thing that holds shells that she's wearing around her shoulder. It's That's gold. Perfect. And she holds it up and goes, oops, and drops it. A massive plume of gold glitter erupts. Actually, I shouldn't have moved. Never mind. Um, and a very, very bright light uh, emanates out from her. Yes, emanates is the word. And you all get taken in a flash and teleported to a new map. What now? God, I hate it here. <laughs> is she In big now? Oh, is she, she is big? Big now. This is a hint. Big map. This is a big map. There's lots of space on this map. Um, and <laughs> In case you wanted to use something that was maybe big on this map. Um, <laughs> My pit. No, I'm good. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to throw rocks yeah. So Before you Is stood a much larger version Of exactly the same Lady um, And I would like Well mm, Yeah <laughs> Whilst I stumble over words Now GM question I had in my head that this was going to start a new initiative as a new battle, as a grown monster. Is that a thing, or have I made that up in my head? I feel like as the GM, you can do whatever the hell you want. 
it's so when you're summoning a Zord, you can do lots of different things as in acting out of initiative while you're waiting for them. Right. Um, when you're in the Zords, you do need to roll a new initiative using the Zords or using the driving skill. I think, okay. I think what he meant was where we... Or the Zords initiative roll. Yeah, I think, I think he means where we've moved location and now it's technically a new fight. Would we re -roll that would be in? entirely up to the GM. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, as it's going to be her turn next anyway, I'll keep it in this order. And so if you choose to... Uh, roll Zords, then we'll reinitiate reinitiative at that point. Otherwise, we'll carry on in the current initiative. Mm -hmm. Unless anybody has any huge reservations about that. No, the only thing is I can't no, actually see the. Um... For the record, yeah, we can't. We can't see the initiative order. But you still can. Which what? We can't. We see can't the see initiative the initiative. Order. Oh, how do how do how do I do that? Other than adding it back on, there's not really another way to right. do it. So let me write all of the initiatives down. So, um, is my Pete? I am going to punch this woman in her giant face. <laughs> I'm glad you said face. Stop kicking, stop kidnapping people. <laughs> we sort of have to, uh, add turn. Add turn. Oh, I was trying yeah. to add myself on. Add turn. Add turn. Okay, now I have a massive initiative order. Add turn. Yep, I'm just going to change it and then sort it out. No, it's fine. Uh... So that would be free, which means we can get rid of that one. This is going to be nine, which means we can get rid of. Are we do exhort initiative. That one. Not yet. Okay. We got to summon them first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate her. What's her size category, by the way? Annoying. <laughs> no, no, no. Pain in the ass. Piece of this shit. is actually. <laughs> no, this is actually important. I'm asking a mechanical question. Um, she is the same size as a Zord, which is what? Huge? Okay, so uh, we're not... If she's yeah, her. huge... We're not getting an upship from huge size differences. Water. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I'll just shoot her. It'll be fine. I can get... I can get... Double upship for solo target. Okie dokie. So, as it is her turn, what she is going to do, because the last person, the last person, the last person to upset her was Cal, she is going to use her in also very large, uh, now very large cannon to fire a shell at Cal. I'm debating using another story point. Do it. <laughs> We've got I would six. like to use. I would like to use a story point to make my defense a twenty instead of a, a fifteen. Okay. Hang on though. Ooh, six. Where is my table? Ah, where is my table? Assuming, assumedly, in your kitchen. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd think so. I think I put it in one of my notes rather than. I have lost. Disappointing. What if I undo? Lots of undos on this. And now bear with. They're all okay. This is most disappointing. I do apologize. She had a ho aha found them six. <clears throat> she fires a shell at you, but it's not designed to hit you. So 
It's... Oh my god, you're gonna hit me with this Yami Yugi bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. And that's why I probably had a round thing on my previous map. It explodes. It is exactly why I had a round thing on my previous map. Um, in a cloud of red smoke around you. Not you, like, personally, but in, like, a ten-foot cube, we'll say. Because clouds are definitely cube-shaped. So, we'll say approximately okay. that much. All right. Whilst you're in that cloud, if you're making a ranged attack, it is uh, one downshift. And oh, it's you minus five up. movement to get out of it. Wait, while you're in the cloud or aiming into the cloud? While you're... Mm, while you're in the cloud. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. We're in that. We're in. <laughs> and then job. she's going to use a free action, because she's evil, to snap her fingers, and that cloud ignites... Ah. Ah. Um. You can make. I'll be kind. You can make an evasion check to try and. Can you make an evasion check? Would you be able to make an evasion check? To get... uh, initiative is what we've used in the past to try and escape that sort of thing, just as a. Okay. Non combat initiative. Cool. Uh, then. Good luck. Make... Non-combat initiative check to see if you get your eyebrows scorched off. A non-combat initiative check? Cool, I have edge on this. Amazing. 19. Yes, so you just jump out of the way in time as the uh, cloud of gas ignites. Your boots are smoldering slightly. From having caught part of it, but you escape without taking any damage. Cool. I'm going to flip her off. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, your turn. My turn. Now, is it a free action or an action action to summon a Zord? Can't remember. I think it's your, your action, yeah. Standard action. Well, in that case... <laughs> Jesus. So here's what I'm mad about, right? How the how did that go off perfectly without peaking the mic? But the train whistle that like, peaked it immediately. What is this? That's, then, <laughs> that was so loud. Really sorry, but what do I need to roll to find out how long it takes? Three D two. Three D two. Three D two. And... How do I roll 3d2, dude? Uh, forward slash R, R space 3D. 3d2. Yeah, I forget that you have to do it in that, and I bloody hate it. So nice. it comes in two turns, because I get it half, but if we round up. Yeah. Okay. Is that you done? Uh, I don't have any action action. Uh, maybe try and take cover a little bit. Okay. Yes, I should say, this is uh, the stone ledges on the outside, they're steps up. So yeah, if I, I was can assuming be it was... Open pyramid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kim Hart, your turn. Kim is going to move up the steps of the pyramid, assuming it's... Five foot mm. steps still? Yeah, I'm right on the basis that a Power Ranger couldn't leap up these one step at a time like they would a normal step without it being hard going. Okay. Uh, use her hard target to increase her evasion by three. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's going to hold her bow in one hand and look up. And hold her arm up with the other, like, her empty hand up, and just shout out, um, "I need dinosaur bower." And that's a point. We're in like space. I get five rounds. Oh my god! 
you have got a lot of story points. I'll just say that now. Yeah, I'm thinking she'll probably use that the next time. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, you can. Do are that. you done? Yep. Cool. Sophie, your turn. Story point just to summon the unicorn thunderzord because I'm not going to wait for that shit. Let's go. Um, just having none of it. I she's going to kill this lady with impunity. Absolutely. Now, um, I don't know where the unicorn thunderzord token is. Someone just. Someone who can just drop my the zord modded. onto the map. I don't know where it. Yeah, give me a sec. Make tokens. Bam. Hey. Right, so I want to. Um, ooh, 50? Okay. Let's go. Drop me, like, on the edge of the the map, I guess. Uh, like, where is 50 where? feet away? <laughs> Drop me in the corner of the pyramid. Which corner? <laughs> Do you want that top right corner that you would just... That yeah, the top, was just... yeah, the top right corner, please. Uh, you're in the bottom left. Have you oh, found wait, yourself on I? the map? Yeah. Wait, yeah, where you're, am I? Everybody's split up, so you're right down in the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, fine. I guess we'll do this it this way. This is oh, way as it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I mm -hmm. bamf into my zord. Oops. What did I do? Uh oh. Wait a minute. It's, it's fine. You just removed your token. What was? Hang on. I've got your initiative. You need to re-roll your initiative though, so that's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna roll my initiative for zord. Zord. Yeah. Zord. Is it is it driving if I'm driving? Initiative still with the Zord. Or is it because okay, okay no. But what I'm saying is, am I rolling my driving skill? No, you roll initiative for your initiative. You're rolling your oh. Thunder Zord's initiative skill. No, well, only if it's autopiloting itself. Never mind. All right, I rolled a seven for initiative. Okay. Wait. Okay. Uh, I'm... Can you add somebody to the tracker for me, please? <laughs> yep, of course. Thank I can. you. I have lost the map for some reason. Don't mind me. I am me. extremely, extremely derpy right now. It's fine. I'm not going to move my Zord. I think it's close enough to let me shoot her. Okay. So I'm oh, going to... And you don't get... Hold on, let me... I was going to say, you don't get snags anyway. Yeah, but can I shoot her is what I'm... No, because you used your main action to summon your Zord. Oh yeah, that's true. Don't, yeah. the, Zords um... have a... oh, don't the Zords have separate actions once like you get inside them? Yeah. At least that's how it worked against Volcana or whatever her name was, Invernia. Invernia. Zords have their own action point. Yeah, they do. I, do. I do like. Oh, that. right. Okay, for some it... reason, my roll twenty is hating me right now. Give me a second. I just want to shoot her. <laughs> I want to take a shot, oh, but I can't huh? see what I'm doing. Do you want me to tell you what your driving is? <laughs> I, I know yeah, what my well, driving is. I just can't see the map. Something to do with hardware acceleration or some other option. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose with the roll 20, reload it. It's a bugger. It's fine. Anyway, so I have three up ships on my range attacks. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and... Go pew pew. Uh, does a 14 hit? <laughs> uh, it does not, I'm afraid. No, it's fine. I had to take a shot. Cool. <laughs> Is that you done? Yeah, that's me yeah. done. Lovely. You can't you. die yet. <laughs> Sarah, your turn. Yeah, I'm going to had about just about enough of this just gonna look up to my right what's on the playlist today 
and spend a story point to summon the Black Lion Thunder Sword. We could do that. As Kiss Me Deadly starts playing in my headset. All right, oh, that's oh. that's the choice that you've made. Here we go, <laughs> and I uh, am going to take a shot. All right, let's see. I'll see if I it'll move. It'll move. And, ah, thunder Thunder Zord can't walk. I can't move. My you need Zord. to roll initiative, oh. and you've also still got your tape measure. Um, yeah, you got to change the movie. Movie, smart. yeah. All right. Uh, so we use is we use my driving. Is driving? I'm so confused. Are you getting in it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So then you use the Zord's initiative. The initiative for using Zords. Okay, yeah, that's right. Is still the Zord's initiative because you can only move as fast as the Zord can move. You can only react as fast as Zord can react. Your initiative is a D6. Yeah. Bam. When you're attacking or anything, that's your driving. Yeah. Look at me, Matt. I've just added somebody to the um, initiative tracker. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Congratulations. Congratulations. Cool. Are you doing anything as your Zord? Yeah. Step forward a little bit. It should be plenty. Oh god. Oh, what did I where did everyone go? Where'd the map go? Why is it a black screen? Oh god, why? Yeah, it, it did we... that to me too. That's... It did it. I wonder if Roll 20 is just having a funny. It's, there it is. It's yeah. Throwing... Your token didn't have vision. Wild. And I deleted your small person token from the map. So then you went bland. Is that? Yeah. Maybe you should give give my my Zord vision too, because everything went black. So it came. I've done that. Do we get upshifts for her size? Nope. Okay. They were the same size. So a D2 sweet. Yeah, we're gonna do a roar and we're if, gonna if, if you're attacking you use your driving skill. Yeah. Oh okay, cool. You do get um are you using energy weapon, you will get a Oh yeah. Upshift on an energy You only weapon. lose the one upshift, but don't we get three upshifts on the driving skill? Normally one of them's normally the size. size. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was saying. We lose one, so you should still get two upshifts. Yeah. You mean... Aim if they're aiming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I move, so I can't aim. What is, is the target number? Uh, 21. You, you hate me. I see how it is. No. I apologize for backseat. No, no, no. I need you to do that because I don't know the Zord stuff. 21. Cool. How does this look? So, yeah, as Kiss Me Deadly is playing and uh, Sarah's jumped onto the stage in the Zord's head because this is how we live our life, strides forward and the, the, the mouth opens and just roars an energy ball right into her back. As it hits her back, it rolls up and takes her hat off. Sure. Three damage right to the hat, I guess, yeah. <laughs> How much damage was that, sorry? Three. Three. Ow. Hundreds of are insane. In which case, it takes off the hat and the headscarf at the same time, <laughs> and musses her hair up, too. So she turns to look at you, flicks her hair back over her head, and goes, Right! End of your turn? Yep. Cool. I can't believe I hit. <laughs> so that was Sarah said so now it's Cal Hey What's what up thing? it's time to use a story point To summon a zord 
<laughs> let's bypass this waiting wait, wait, waiting no, no, hang on hang on um i think where we've moved things through the tracker as people have rolled new initiatives i think i've missed pete uh, well, no, yeah I have, it's I because um, it's gone. He's round no, to yes. Uh, sorry. Yeah. You summoned your Zord and then we moved on. Yeah. So yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Cal, it is your turn. I had a mild yeah, panic yeah. that I'd lost somebody then. No, no. It's okay. Don't have a mild panic. Have a spicy one. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to use a story point to summon the Yellow Griffin Thunder Zord. <laughs> okay. Which I will allow you to summon with sight. Oh, that worked. No. Oh, there's two of them. Second one. <laughs> this is not what I intended. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And then I'm going to get inside this bad boy. I don't know what his three bars are. I don't know why he... It's Okay, that's his toughness and evasion for some reason. I guess because it had nothing else to put in bars. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm gonna get I'll inside. Right. I'm gonna get inside the Zord <laughs> before I do. The Zord looks at me, <laughs> and I'm just like, "Look, we have, but we have a thing we have to do. We can't talk about this." <laughs> uh, gets I uh, Cal will get inside the Zord and be seated in his coffin and connect his nerves to to the Zord directly, as he is known to do. Eesh. All right. Matt has feet a question. Of hmm? Just very brief interjection. Very brief. Just because I feel like it can't be forgotten. As you get into the coffin, before it seals, you feel that phantom touch <laughs> of uh, you, Infernia. Ma'am, you have to understand that, th that Just, when I'm in a coffin, that's the worst time. You have to get that. You did say you was going to do something for yourself. Right now? This isn't really what I had in mind. Right. I wasn't planning on being I kidnapped did either. Keep my part of the agreement. And I'll And you'll notice I've left you alone all day. Yes, you have, and I will do something fun once I am no longer kidnapped and on an alien game show. Oh, and Inferni is here now. Oh. <laughs> it's like, look, I get it. I understand. I was not planning on being kidnapped. I will amend this briefly. God willing. As uh as Cal's nerves are synced with the with the machine. Alright, where's the tape measure? <laughs> Well, I can get to there. And then does do Zords have like free movement actions? Yeah. Like, can I use same as yep. My speed it's speed minus speed two. Mi Okay, so I got okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. How many additional feet of movement do they get though per free action? I mean I assume it would still be five, right? Yeah. Alright, sick. So I can get right there. And I think because of the size of the Zord, that is in fact within my punching range. Yeah, reach is like ten foot in a Zord. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. <laughs> Teeny tiny arms. All right. Uh, violence. <laughs> About it. This is this is this is my driving skill with two up shifts, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 So that puts me at a D8. Uh, 21 to hit. That will hit. Uh, cool. So I like to imagine that the sequence of events that just happened is the Zord like fell from the sky as it's known to do because it is a griffin. That is the one thing it does. Uh, I got in it and as soon as I sunk, sunk up, sprint up and just like right hook to I'll the face. Punch. Exactly. Oh, Running... How many points of damage? Just the one? Or? Three. Three. <laughs> wow. Everybody just three points of damage. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thunder Zords. Gotta love them. <laughs> Bop! Oh, I need to add you to the... You need I to roll, roll the initiative. initiative as well. Yeah. I haven't done that. Uh, 
right. And this uses the Zords initiative? Yeah. Sick. That's also a D8. 24. Nice. She is going to summon her Zord. <laughs> <laughs> It's even bigger. The <laughs> other section that would have been an amazing twist. That would have been so she gets funny. Big, everybody summons the Zords, then she summons the Zord. <laughs> Just like, okay, let's do this. Huh? How big would a Zord have to be? <laughs> is, is gargantuan a size yeah. class in this yep. system? It is. Perfect. So she is going to kind of ignore you, Cal. For the moment, because damn, all right, you... I'm not hurt. <laughs> it's fine. You punched her, but Sarah mussed up her hair, and <laughs> oh, a mu- I agree. I understand. We're like this. We're on a TV show. This is show business. Yeah. A much graver offense. <laughs> is this and... about to be a cat fight? Yeah, absolutely. You didn't bring a robot to a cat fight. <laughs> um, she does a cartwheel and a backflip, and. And she's into huge, another so those are shaking the ground. <laughs> and mm-hmm. she is going to use one of her special actions to special flip attack into you, which is going to be a dice that I'm going to roll. Do I get any upshifts? <laughs> uh, that one. And that yeah. depends on how you built the, the, the giant creature. The giant. How you built the huge. Adelaide. Okay, yeah, that's going to do something. Um, <laughs> so that was uh, four, seven. It's a 21, but it's a crit. Oh, balls. You said but like there was going to be like some good news for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's a 21, but, it's like, look, but, but, but I also crit. Problem. I also deal double damage. <laughs> Don't you want to hit your toughness? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. That will be at a crit. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Six points of damage. Six? I'm sorry, what? Oh, that my... Is that Zord down? <laughs> no. That is. But that that line just got pretty close. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah. Don't mess with the do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, the music, like, full on, like, skips. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> and. Need, need some help, y'all. Yeah, that ends her turn. On to you, Anne. Or Sophie, as is the case. You're muted. Sorry. Um, I just needed to double-check something, so I moved 40 feet. Uh, uh, what is the speed on this? Okay, uh, I'm gonna shovel forward 10 more feet, and then I'm going to blasty blasty. The nasty Um, pasty. So that is three up shifts. Three or two? Three because of my my multi weapon. All right, cool. one target. Yep. So that's uh, energy weapon plus one target. Um, how are we on story points? Can I attempt to hit her with? Yeah, with would anyone mind if I tried rolling this uh, specialized? Go for it. Nope. Okay. Oh no. no! I rolled a natural one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you spend a story point to re-roll? Yes, yeah. please, 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 please. 
Yeah, go for Are it. Are you kidding me? I hate it. I hate everything about this. I rolled a two. We have one story point. I hate and, it. I'm and sorry. Peter needs to use it to summon the dragon. No, the... Peter can have it. Kimberly needs it, needs it more than me. It will take her five turns to get Peter can have it. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Wait, it only... Okay. Mine will, this... mine will come out next turn, though. Yeah. It's still fine. I hate it. I feel really sad. What did you get when you rerolled? A two, a two. on my net, on my on my d twenty. I hate it. I hate it. I'm done. Uh, do Rage I have quit. anything else I can do? No. no. Ugh, hate it. Um, how many reactions do you have with a five speed Zord? It's three, right? Two? Or two? Yeah. No, okay. It should be just three. You used two, so you got one left. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. I'm just gonna inch closer to to the the fight. <laughs> Fair enough. I'd be okay. like, I'm getting ready to punch this bitch. Okay, next. <laughs> the reason go. why she moved. Um, Pete, your turn. Yes, I'm going to use my movement and then my free action so that I can move 45 feet to Nya. Yeah. Then I'm going to use that story point to summon this. If it will let me drag and drop it. Come on, baby. Come on. Should don't, do. don't let me down. And drag and drop. Dra Just make sure you're actually from the name actually... rather than the bars. I'm I'm clicking on the name. It's not letting me drag and drop. Okay. <laughs> you can't drag and drop. Yeah, me too. The drag uh, and drop. Is yeah. it possible that you're grabbing the picture of the of the green dragon thunder sword and not the actual character sheet that has a token? Oh no, I, I was clicking on the token because I've got two in front of me. Top one's the token. Bottom one's the ca character sheet. And then well, have drag and drop sword. Cool. And then obviously I'm going to enter my dragon because he is a beautiful, beautiful boy. And then obviously I need to roll initiative. Indeed, yo. Yes. Nice. Twenty-one. What was your initiative? Sorry. <laughs> Twenty-one. And then Dick. this is where the fun begin. Oh, I'm a hitter really hard. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Who? She's the same size as us, isn't she? Yes. Yeah. And so technically, I could grapple her. Do it. I really wanted to grapple something last week, last time we used the swords, and I didn't get to. Well, now you're here. Hmm. <laughs> Listen. Are they on higher ground than her being up on the steps? I will say that no, because the middle of the the grassy bit where she stood is kind of a step up higher than the high step. On level. Right. But okay. They're also not on lower ground at this point because they would have to have a foot on two different steps. I'm saying that they're on the same level, so I hear. Listen to, the cow. Listen, <laughs> listen to the cow on your shoulder. Grapple her. Do a wrestling move. I want to, but then I also really want to shoot her with... Because I like my lasers. Well, you're not in a laser yeah. position. <laughs> that would be a bad oh, no, place to try and shoot a laser from. You're in, fi you're in final finish buster position. <laughs> oh, I grab her by the head and prop her. <laughs> God, you God's in it. I always remember that I keep forgetting that we just don't get snags ever. As long as it's your zord. Yeah. So, so you I sure? Get... Yeah. Shit. Sure. <laughs> I get two upshifts. Don't I? I mean, then you can aim. Him. There. Dante needs to get moved. Um, and then, uh, what's the difficulty? For a laser beam, twenty-one yeah. dynamite and a laser beam <laughs> guaranteed to blow your mind. Crit, bosh, real crit, a genuine real crit, real crit. Real crit. <laughs> <laughs> I love the excitement there. It's like a real. Explain how that looks. We see so many D2 crits. We see so many of them. How much damage is that, by the way? 
that do double three damage. Yes. Yeah, three normal damage, so it'd do six. six. Please tell me that killed her. It did not kill her. Oh, god damn it. Um, he's going to attempt to do, like, the, the Godzilla down your throat, like, nuclear breath blast thing with his laser beam. I'll say she just managed manages to, like, deflect it, and it, like, hits the side of her face. I'd like to take that thought, if you don't mind. Like, you grab her by the shoulders so she's facing you, and you roar full pelt. <laughs> it's just, like, blasted backwards. And then when you stop roaring, her hair is then just really voluminous and, like, <laughs> fluffy and annoyed, and she's just like... Mm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I will uh, end my turn. Lovely. On to Kim Hart. Tiny, tiny Kim Hart. Tiny Kim Hart, five turns left, zero story points. <laughs> tiny Kim Hart. Um, I'm going to uh, make an argument for craziness because I feel like this is the only time I'm going to get a chance to make an argument for craziness. Go for it. Everybody's watching this. Yeah, this is a TV show. Mm -hmm. Everybody's watching. We could say they're minor celebrities, maybe. Wait, Wait, everybody knows. Yep. So maybe her. Are you think? Are you who I think you are? Perk that allows her to roll her um, persuasion checks as if they were specialized. Okay. would apply what are you intending to do basically she is going to shout up at this lovely lady large very large this very is, crazy lady very large lady um and say something to the effect of four on one you're getting your butt beaten your hair ruins your clothing attire destroyed. Think you need a bit of a wardrobe check, and maybe you should just send us home now. Look at him literally <laughs> chewing this over. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hmm. all right. I know silence is not great, but I'm just seeing. Hey, I put a D6 in Persuasion, okay? You've got what, sorry? I put a D6 in Persuasion. Okie doke. (laughs) Roll a Persuasion check. I am going to try and use it. Um, Persuasion goes... When it's contested, what does it go against? Is it just... Uh, Social defence? It's up to you whether or not it's against either one of... Yeah, either willpower or cleverness Uh, or a fixed amount. Of your choice. Roll it as a D with an upshift. Um, and tell me what your score is. Okay. Does she get the specialization from yeah. her? Are you who I, I will you? allow it because I'm lovely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, you, you made her a star. Yay! <laughs> Must be the I money! <laughs> Bloody. Oh, man, that's so peak. <laughs> Roll a d10 for me. That was awful, yeah. and I'm here for it. Oh, no, what did you put into it? You had a d dec- No, it did roll an upshift, sorry. Um, I thought it had an upshift. It did roll an upshift, yeah. Even with an upshift, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yep. he rolled two ones, a two. I got a two on my d20. He's probably the kill it. Um, villain lady looks down to Kim and goes but isn't it entertaining (laughs) anything else with your turn Uh, Kim is going to make a move use her hard target that's about right for (laughs) the moment really isn't it Um, Uh, and that will be the end of her turn good round yeah Good on you, Kim. What, what Ladies and gentlemen, next? Kim! <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, is... what will happen next is I think that it's my turn. I think that, yeah. I think that these yeah. numbers are not numbering correctly. <laughs> yes, they're not sequenced. Right, let me drag and drop them. Drag and oh, drop! As if by, by that, the, way, the drag and like... drop has just... I would like to. I would like to say that I am. I want Peter to have a move in his Zord called the Dragon Drop, where he just performs an Azuna Drop in the Zord. <laughs> can you I want that. I want that so bad. I can't imagine dragons <laughs> in their various um, states of dropping. <laughs> after exchanging very brief words with Kimberly, you see her. Disappear in a puff of glitter and reappear slightly further away. Oh, this Wh bitch. Well, your turn. That's All right, cool. Uh, violence. <laughs> <laughs> it is what I am committing. Um, uh, two up shift. Uh, 22 to hit? Ooh. Uh, with abject violence, yep, yeah. that hits. Alright, uh, so that's another 3 damage. <laughs> and I, this one, uh, after seeing her teleport, right, uh, yep. Cal, in the, Cal in the Zord will turn around and just run up and uh, double leg drop kick her. <laughs> <laughs> in the Zord. Two legs, yeah, two legs yeah. drop kick. Okay, so bear with us. I just arranged something. Yeah, oh, that might have worked. We'll find out in a minute. So, as she glitter blinks, which is how I've named that power, while she was surrounded by the group of you, she poofs into a, um, a veritable spectrum of glitter and sparkles and then reappears on the other side of the map. She turned round just in time to see the two feet of the yellow sword smack into her. Are you going for face, chest, stomach? Face. face. Smack into her face. And as you hit her, there is another blinding flash. Ah. Oh. Wait, did I kill her? <laughs> and you find yourselves... Back on the previous map in space. But you're out of your swords. She's back to normal size and she just holds up two hands and she just goes, okay. And we're done. Straight up clothesline this woman. No, let's go with, <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> are, like, are, we still, are we still in an initiative or can I just attempt to commit more violence? <laughs> you're, you are out of initiative. Cool, okay, so I'm going to attempt to commit more violence. <laughs> yep. yep. As you move, because she's held up her hands, yeah. as you move violently towards her, that you find plan, that you yes. just stop. You yep. know that same feeling that you had of the really thick air? Yeah. Oh. And she goes, Oh, this bitch. It's okay, you can stand down. Let me explain. First of all, my accent is going to wander all over the place. Second of all, I am the monarch. I am falcrons. Basically, falcrons are these teeny tiny particles, but they actually are people. They're sentient. And as other sentient species start to tinker with us and put us to use, we Cal like to make sure... Well, Cal is slow. <laughs> slowly. Because the faster they move, the slower it goes, right? So Cal is like, like inch... Like millimeters forward, just like very, very slowly, very, very slowly, <laughs> not stopping okay. at all. But like, there's like, there's not. I'm so, not like, yeah. And we have found through the history of many species through the multiverse that when they get access to manipulating us, either things go okay or they go terribly. So we discovered, well, we devised a way of taking some representatives from each civilization when they started playing with us to work out whether they'd go more towards the awesome or more towards the ass. No, that was too Australian. Or more towards the awful end of the spectrum. So we bring people here and we have some tests and nobody gets hurt. 
but we get to work out whether you're going to destroy yourselves with us or not. If you were going to destroy yourselves, then we cease to exist in your universe, and you can never interact with Falcons again. However, you guys are amazing, and you aced all but one of our tests. So you're absolutely, you and your species, from now on, unless you do anything particularly hideous, are completely free to use our falcons to create your clean energy. Isn't that nice? Can you have just asked? There has to be a better no, way. No, because we've asked people before, and they said, yeah, of course we're only going to do good things, and the next thing you know, the whole planet's gone kablowy. Can you have just come taking a look? Yeah, we've done that too. There's a lot of people to look at in this multiverse. Uh, at... Which test did we fail? Clowns. It, <laughs> it was the clowns, yes. You were very close, but it was one shot in the very last shot that missed. And overall, it... no. Sorry. But you got we're the train, all... that was good. How did we're you choose all... your... Great at shooting. <laughs> How did you choose Especially your weapon? Especially the they never fly straight. Pesky little blighters. Mm. Sorry, Michael, what are you saying? How did you choose us? Because one of us is from a very different place. Nice. Time. Um, yeah. She looks over at Kim. He goes, I'm not quite sure yeah, yeah. how somebody from a time jump would have not or would have been pulled through usually we only pull people from the same kind of fear usually when there are um an emiss not an emissary what is the word i'm looking for when there is a collection of champions like yourselves you know a power ranger team they're usually together in some shape or form so i'm not quite sure why you're here if you weren't there but you know falcons we affect time and space and time and space where, and where? don't point us at chickens it doesn't end well where's Q? where's our red ranger well if if he ain't here he's probably back at what did you call it earth why what do you mean probably uh Listen, we just want to go back. Please send us back. I'm tired of talking. I mean, yeah. were, we absolutely were we actually on TV or was that a bit? No, it's not TV as you know it, but all Falcrons are all connected. So everything that you did, we know. So it's kind of been broadcast to every Falcron particle in all of existence. And collectively, yeah, we think you're pretty cool. Thank you. Do you have any final conversations between yourselves to have? Because when you go back, you'll go back to where you belong, Pinky. I have a, qu I have a question really quick. Uh -huh. How much can you tell us about what you know about the Morphin Grid in, say, 60 seconds? Five oh. Morphin Grid, yeah. Those, they're cool guys. We know them. They're a bit like us, but slightly different. And okay, so they... you guys you guys are not the same. Just like, they're, no. your, they're your homies. Oh, honey. Neighbors? No. Like, yeah, what's your like, deal? Um, yeah, we're, we hang out at the same sort of parties. But no, we're not the same. We're slightly different. That's all I wanted to know. Can we go home now? Awesome, absolutely. Do any One... of you want to have a chat? Kimberly. Yeah. Kim Kim takes her helmet off for the second time because Because apparently it doesn't <laughs> matter. This is all weird. Yeah. They're not on TV. Apparently this is all time shenanigans and space shenanigans and timey wimey confusingness. And looks over at the uh four rangers who she still really is confused. And she's just like, so I guess this is it? I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm Will not I see you in the future? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you'll be seeing us around. I'm not going to take my helmet off because spoilers, but 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, but would I know who you... Sorry, no, go ahead. I was going to say something, but it would make sense. While I have the chance, thank you for everything. That you will do. For what? This this is really, really confusing for me. I know. We understand and we get that. Probably Sorry. best to just consider it all a bad dream. I'm assuming you can you at least tell me your names. No. Uh my name is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too risky. Yeah. Uh, Michael, Chet, <laughs> Gringo, and Chad. I mean, I, think I know Q. That was a mistake. And I'm Titanium like, guy. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> just take to heart, to heart that we're. Uh, Doing our best to live up to the example you and your team set. Okay. Anything else um, could be dangerous. See you on the wayside, boss. <laughs> you. Bye, I guess. And Pete will shake her hand and say goodbye. We'll use this. Marker is a portal that opens and the monarch says thank you for coming feel free to step into the portal and it'll pop you back home okay, we'll just Sick. <laughs> exactly will this take us right back to where that... yeah okay at least the monarch puts people back where she took them okay i'm going to i'm going to go through the portal first while Sarah, everybody else is saying goodbye to Kim or whatever, she doesn't say anything. Will it send me back when I'm supposed to be? Oh, I hope so. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it will do. Maybe you go through last, okay. just in case, so that we don't get any more confusion. Okay. And Sarah will just quickly hug Kim and then run through the portal. Oh. Sophie, you went through first, you said, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Um, bye. So just before Kim steps in, um, the monarch just grabs oh. her by the top of the arm and she just goes, so tell me, honey, when exactly are you from? The, the exact date? Yeah. I mean, it was Halloween, so October 31st, um, 2000 and... Uh, well, it'd be 20, uh, 2011. Okay. Well, safe journey home. Thanks. Boom. Okay. Right. So I want to say that as we get back, are we in the, like, the same position where we left? We're like, we're all just demorphed in crowd watching event happen. So, you have that same light envelop you and teleport you back through um, through time, through space, through everything, through the cosmos. And you feel yourself land back into your chairs or standing behind your tables where you were. And the energy streamer that had touched into your chest releases. And the energy that was described spidering out towards you goes backwards in exactly the same pattern, reforming into a ball and then going back into the generator. And you see kind of 
all of the events roll backwards right up until the mayor presses the button and the generator starts and you hear a slight whir and a slight of energy and then the applause starts and successfully the falcon generator has begun to create completely clean and renewable energy for angel grove and its surrounding area and with that i pass my gm hat temporarily as it was back to matt did i get a text message and that's kind of what i was doing last oh pretending that, to do my job that. yeah <laughs> Um, I would just say, just to facilitate the change, zero seconds of time has passed. Q is sat next to you. Everybody's just sat. The generator's gone three, two, one, and generator's started. Right. Yeah, so, no, so, yeah. Sophie would I, check the phone. Yeah. I'd like to... Bear with me just one I'd like second. to place a phone call to one alpha with hopes of getting in contact with one Anubis Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have as, a crime to report. As you all are space crime released back to the now, the here, the maybe. As the my first, my last, uh, my everything generator starts as this clean energy source begins providing energy to Angel Grove. Go ahead and make me another alertness check. Does this include me, bearing in mind that I know nothing has happened? This does include Sick! You. Ten! <laughs> is, there, is there a difficulty? I want to see what you get. A, so tell me what you get, a, and we'll do it as a scale. As a. It's a 17 with a 4 on my d4. Yeah, 12, but a critical Fantastic. 12. I got a 6. Fantastic. Oh, two crits. 21. <laughs> There's the guy. <laughs> you, Q sees it first. Q sees a flash of pink and black and gold from the corner of his eye as this humanoid figure flips off of a building very close by so close in fact that she may have been mistaken as a champion at some point she lands and as she does both Sarah and Sophie get this instant as does Q where this almost looks like the Pink Ranger the everything looks a little bit off the tray the helmets a bit too angled the eyes a bit too sinister the pink is a bit too accented with black and gold but particularly for Sarah and Sophie, who have just witnessed Kim performing these acrobatic moves in a fight. It doesn't just look like a Pink Ranger. It looks like the Pink Ranger. And she lands with perfect form, perfect balance. The true looks across the seated figures and just shouts out where's Q and Sarah, I'll probably have to call you back <laughs> <laughs> drops the tray she's holding and as it clatters she just Jim Oh, crap baskets. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Q um, is so out of the loop, it's not even funny. <laughs> Q is so out of the loop that it is funny. Um, 
I think what Sophie will do is um, excuse herself from the um, e EMT team, citing an emergency, just like holding up her cell phone, like, um, you know, making up some sort of excuse. Cal's Family related back excuse. Alley. Yeah. So. <laughs> I take it I'm sat with Pete. Yeah. No, it just yeah. seems so. Um, buddy, got a lot to catch up on. We need to get out of here. That could be a problem. Let's go. And then we need to make an excuse to leave. So, I don't know. Let's make an excuse to leave, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's try and... From where we're sat, however this is laid out, oh, is there a way we can duck out? <laughs> You have a distraction. Her arrival. Yeah, I'm walking up to her. At first. Oh, sorry. Go on. I was yeah. So you have a distraction to run because Sarah is going to start walking to up to Kim. She summons a bow. It looks nothing like the bow that you saw Kimberly wielding. Um, if anything, it almost looks as if somebody had taken a sword, two swords, stuck them hilt against hilt it's, and strung it's kind of, a bowstring. It's kind of like Sophie's bow, right? Like the sharp bladed yep. edges. Just... The scimitar. Of the swords. Yeah. Like Sophie's is a dagger. These are like full blades. Yes, yeah, but they're they're essentially yeah. bladed and yeah, same sort of style. Inspired yeah. by, you might say. <laughs> yes. Mm. Um Does Sophie does Sophie notice this it, as she's leaving? Make me an alertness check. Uh difficulty will be ten. But as she like summons this bow, she draws the string back, and a pink arrow I, appears. I rolled in a, it. I rolled a seven. Fires. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Unfortunately, not. God damn and it! She's as she's turned away from the scene. She doesn't see it. Um, but she fires this arrow into the dirt by Sarah's feet, and just says. Too much black. Far too much black. I've seen what the grid does. Is it if Where is he? Is if Where is this cube? If so if Sophie if Sophie's or if if Sarah's been attacked, I am going to invoke my community helper hangout hang up if she's been hurt or like no, she being did shot not. at. She's not been no. Okay. Shot at just at her, like the dirt at her feet. What? To stop her from coming closer. What are you okay. doing? What happened to you? I feel like Cal at this point has, in fact, morphed and is making his way back to the scene <laughs> to fight this person. We all thought you were dead. Is. Cow doing so sneakily. Yeah, I mean, I said when when like she first appeared, Cow was like immediately. I mean, like, when he's coming out. back, is he doing the like? He's, oh yeah, no, he's coming he back. He's gonna he's gonna make a sneakily, or is he just running? Uh, Cow's not a sneaky person. Just running, <laughs> dead sprint. Um. So also he's gonna he's gonna he's Cal. gonna ask he's gonna talk to Infernia real quick. Does this count as fun? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Are you enjoying yourself? Hell yeah. 22, by the way. Thought I'd mention. 22? I max, I max okay. rolled that initiative roll. Moment. It's the highest I could possibly get. <laughs> you might win this one. Uh, 1d20. Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, she got me. Apparently, she no got me. GG's. The answer to that question. Um. That's insane. Can't believe we both rolled a nat 20 on the fucking initiative. This is... 
Wow. With the bow in hand, she lines up against Cal and just Yellow Ranger. Yeah, Cal's in- Michael was it? <laughs> yep. Cal is not stopping after being just... drawn down on. By the way, he'll take this. How did I'm not even recognize me? I'm not more. Kim. Kim, stop. Think about what you're doing. I should actually do the thing. Uh, toughness or evasion for Kim? Fifteen on evasion. This is gonna hurt. Can't wait for you to one tap me. Let's get it. I deserve this. I deserve this for what I did. How did you do that? Uh, <laughs> How did you fucking do that? Oh no! So that's actually gonna be. Did um, you one tap me? One sec. Is that is that three? That might be one. Holy sec. shit! That that's genuinely awesome. might be one sec. Whilst this is going, Pete and I have a, a whispered conversation to each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, at some point, Sophie's going to come back in morphed as well because she ran out. I think everybody's going to have to. I mean, um, apparently not not Q and Peter. They see this shit going down and they're just talking to each other. We're just like, <laughs> no, we're behind us here. No, so Peter and I are having a back and forth because Q doesn't want to let this bad ranger unleash herself on all of these innocent people but he also doesn't think that he and pete are going to be able to sneak out even with a distraction so oh he's wait got, he, can i uh, go ahead sorry keep going I'll, I'll... their conversation is that pete's going to sneak off one way and q's going to stand up and volunteer himself as enough of a distraction to try and buy enough time for enough people to get morphed to then try and save people and then you can run away morph come back yeah also there, there was some there's something i'd like to to change in something i said so when when yep. she said michael is it uh i would and rather than saying yep that's me i would instead rather say, rather say i don't know who you're talking about <laughs> that's gonna be eight damage oh my jesus okay, so you killed me twice over like this is, I, I think that's just a full ass death. Like I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what you want to do with this. You're either you're either uh, what was it? Uh zero hit points. Morphed still and zero. Okay, so there's no so there's no consequence. Or unmorphed and So one. there's no consequence for you literally dealing more than like my my health twice and a nope. twice and a half over. Alright, fantastic. Still stay morphed, but zero. You're unconscious. You're yep. defeated. Essentially, yeah. you're you're out of the fight. Mm-hmm. Can, yeah. Okay. I I would like to do a thing. <laughs> yep. I don't know how long it takes for me to do this thing, but I have an ability that can fix that. I think. Yes, I do. Hold on. I know how the blue spectrum Man, that's, works. That that's so much more generous than other other TTRPG. You dealt oh, half my health it's over. <laughs> That, sh- that was crazy. Oh. And to be no rule, we deserve don't this. die. No more rangers die. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop, Kim. Okay, this isn't okay. who you are. What a satisfying character arc, though, if Cal actually bit it here. <laughs> no, no, <I'm> just... <laughs> the last thing he said to him for is like, are you having fun? You bet. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> Okay, so let me know when I can come in. I'm waiting. I'm. I'm just. Yeah, and then I'll go after you. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Come in and roll initiative. Can oh, I try um, persuasion check to break through? To but, her? Yep. But cheeks. Okay. So I've snuck off, morphed, come back, roll initiative. Okay. Okay. I hate not having Q to follow. I roll a six. <laughs> At that point, Q stands up and steps into like a gap between the rows of seats. Um, if I can just step back a sec, he would have tapped a text message to Alpha on his communicator to um, 
set off all the alarms on his um, Q. I want to say command, but Q fits. So as he steps up, he just taps the thing at his communicator to give the signal to Alpha. And then he just says, um, I'm here, but you'll have to try and get me first. And then he turns and runs. As the alarms go off and everybody starts to flee, I hope. Everybody, everybody definitely starts running. I mean, um, look, if they they saw the Yellow Ranger yeah. go down in one hit, like yeah, they saw... I feel like these people immediately like fucking panicked and ran 100%. away. They saw what appears to be two Power Rangers fighting one another, and one of them's just taking the other one out with a single shot. <laughs> Some girl in the middle. <laughs> yeah, he takes off his red overshirt, so he just has a, a, bl- a black sh- uh, t-shirt underneath. And he drops the red shirt in the crowd so that now he's a different colour, so he's not as obvious to spot. <clears throat> they can't spot us without our branding. <laughs> <laughs> Their vision is based on colour. Yeah. Um, and uh, whether, whether or not anyone's paying any attention after fumbling that role so bad. Yeah. <laughs> there are reaches, reaches behind just, damn it. Black Lion. Full view of anyone who might be paying attention. Let's go. Secrets <laughs> revealed. God, God damn it! <laughs> you are intent on revealing your identity. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, did Q roll initiative? No, because okay. he's just running away. No worries. I can. Um, Peter, you've used your standard action to. No. You've morphed. You're mm-hmm. coming in, so you're on the 13. Mm-hmm. So what was he well, wanted to do? Uh, I want to say I'll come in by surprise and you as, as roll, stupid, in, uh, sound... roll infiltration if you want to try and come in by surprise. I just wanted to like fly in and just dive kicker. <laughs> <laughs> you can try it. Like as I joined back to the the scene all morphed up. I yeah. just fly in with a kick. Go ahead so that and just make your roll. Standard attack. Yeah. Q on a combat. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, difficulty. Go ahead and make your roll. Okay. I rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> <It's definitely laughs> I'm not telling you what it is. It's definitely not an eight. All right. Are you sure? Probably nine. <laughs> Probably nine. <laughs> uh, Q Maybe ten is push. running. Q is running like Simba in <laughs> in the valley with wildebeest everywhere. Except the wildebeests are other people. <laughs> Guess I'd like to say he like tries to like fly kicker and she just steps out of the way. He just no, flies straight just, past. Literally him. just <laughs> past him, as if yeah, just. Um and Sophie. I'd like to use a free action to restore one hit point to Cal, and I'm just gonna quietly say, um, stay down. She probably thinks you're dead, and then she will. <laughs> She will use another free action to summon her. her to be fair, um, I think even if I get health back, I am still unconscious. You're still defeated, but you're not like you still have you you have health. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm like I I have, but like the thing is, I don't think I would have hurt you because I am actually unconscious. Like I'm I'm yourself. knocked the fuck out. Oh, I am gone. No, if you get health I just, back, I just thought you're okay. I just yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All right. A... If you can find a way to get help, so back, you whatever. Okay. Look, and then right. I just like, yeah. So I said what I said. I have two more free actions. I'm going to use one of them to summon my bow and take my own right. shots. Go for Let's it. go. Hit and roll. Probably not going to end well, but hey, whatevs. Nope. That is definitely not going to end well. 
That is a natural two on the d20, and I rolled <laughs> no. a four. That is definitely not going to end well. Um, but I, but I do, but I do kind of stand where, like, kind of in front of Cal, like, <laughs> so that I do, like, kind of protecting his body, and just, yeah. So I just. I just Sophie take the shots Peter, with Cal my and Sarah are morphed. Q is still running. I'm running and looking for a corner that I can dive off of out of the main flow, or a door I can duck in, or a table I can roll under. Some kind of relatively obscured spot so I can then morph. Okay. More you're have catch to your bear ass, with me a moment because I'm gonna have to roll this um several times, so just bear with me a second. Oh, I get the result I want. I do love the visual of rolling under a table morphing and then coming you out yeah. under the table right, you're right, coming as, a <laughs> as a Power Ranger. Uh, Subtle it's not it's not very, it's going to be... It is a very oh, Power Ranger right. thing to do. Knowing me, I'd catch the tablecloth as I rolled in and pull the whole thing down at the same time. Just draw more attention to the spot where you are. Yeah. Peter, highest of toughness or evasion, please. Mm, toughness. I do believe it's a 19. Let me just double check. It's been a while. Yeah, 19. Been a while. Wow. What? Oh, it's not a real crit. Not a real crit. Uh, ah, cool. Can. No, Bear I can't. Don't second. have any. Never mind. You've got no story points. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, We're using them all in these stupid Sophie, games. Highest of toughness or evasion? Um, that is a sixteen on evasion. We're gonna get worked. I haven't that one's seen real. any of the results yet, so bear with me a moment. Um, Seven. Oh, yeah. that is crit real. again. Hate it. Hate it for me. And then, real crit. Uh, Sarah, highest of toughness or evasion? They are both 15. No oh fucking God. way. Stop it. No fucking so, way. We are, Sorry um, for the cursing. That is absurd. Peter is going Ooh. to take two damage. Uh, Sophie and Sarah are going to take four points of damage apiece. Considering how terribly Kim rolled during the games. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's warmed up. Yeah. It's just like is... she rolled really badly so that her rolls now are more menacing. How did I take eight damage? Because he grid. Uh, because I you could it. twice I here too. Volleys for this so that she could shoot several people, whereas for mm. you, she shot all of her arrows at one person, getting to I do see. extra Thank damage you. and then crit. Making I you hate like it so much. Porcupine. Yes, I will do the unmorph with one health. You, of course, you would. Instead of <laughs> You hear Alpha screaming in your head at this point. It's just, Rangers! I don't know what's going on, but diagnostics are going off everywhere. Everybody seems to be taking damage. Cal was down, but now seems to be back up. Sophie seems to be down. Should I teleport you out? Might be a good idea to get us the hell out of here, Alpha. Yeah, I'm gonna stay, uh, stay morphed and unconscious. Teleport us away. He doesn't want to leave people in danger. She's Kimberly. coming up to you specific, though. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go. So if she hasn't attacked any bystanders like so far, like going around. Hopefully she won't. We should not have let that name slip happen, but... <laughs> Five flashes I'm going back to the end of, the of game. light pull 
Sarah, Q, Sophie, Peter, and Cal up off of the ground away from the water and power plant and back towards the command center. And as they do, you just, you don't see, but still at the command, uh, at the power center, the Slayer sort of throws her head back and screams inside her helmet at the fact that her target escaped. And on that lovely note, we shall end the session there. Awesome. Favorite Put me back Thanks. in, coach. <laughs> Put Thanks, me back I in, hate coach. it. Thanks, um, I hate this. it. Woo! Favorite Woo! moment of the night, um, Michael, Green Ranger. My Michael. favorite moment of the night was getting turned into a llama. <laughs> 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 I lost my shit for a good minute and a half there. I was. I can't sure. believe that that I happened. I can't. Focus. This this is record. That's on. That's film. Like that happened. That's not like a bit. <laughs> we got turned into llamas. Lamb llama rangers. But then I also like um, how other Michael is just dead set on revealing his identity to everyone. That's that's. The, but str yeah. people on the street, the black rangers walk is like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> Dramatic moments. She does dumb things. It's fun. Sarah, Sarah's tweeting out. <laughs> Ranger selfies. Exactly. New filter. Jay. Check out this new filter, and then she just morphs. Favorite moment of the session. Totally double bluffed in that way. <laughs> Me. Yep. Um. You it was hard because I was so focused on trying to GM that. I wasn't taking a lot in, but I, I got, I enjoyed um, Sophie inside checking a cardboard cutout. <laughs> that that did it for me. I will Good say now subject. that my to worst be, moment in the game was to be to be fair. To be fair, I probably should have done a knowledge check instead to see if I yeah, knew that, of any rangers that were of this color. But I was like, eh. whatever. That, it was that funny. Been fair. Um. My own personal horrible horror moment was um, just as we were getting going. <laughs> and Nan said, and I hate puzzles. And I was like, oh my God, I've done nothing but give them puzzles. She's going to hate me. <laughs> I felt like such a terrible person at that point. And I'm so sorry if this has been a horrible session for you. <laughs> I absolutely hated it the entire time, but it was still fun. <laughs> hey, you can hate something and still have fun. Okay. Um... Like fishing. Also, you did give me <laughs> violence. You did give me violence at the end, so you made up for it. Um, <laughs> and the me rolling like act actual garbage in my zord and feeling really bad about it after all the puzzles. I was just like, I want out. <laughs> Please let me go home. That <laughs> just Sophie being like desperate to do violence and hit something. I was gonna have I was gonna have her clothesline her like <laughs> straight up clothesline yeah. her and, the, and her sword. I was like, give me no, like a legit clothesline. I'm like, if I have one more turn, I'm just gonna take her down and roll off the pyramid. Yeah, I bounce her down every stair on the way. Yeah, exactly. Panic, favorite moment. Oh god, I'm tied for three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because first, there was the moment where after I came back and everyone was just like, what the fuck do we do with this puzzle? <laughs> with, like, yeah. the, the scales. The, yeah. just everyone, like, me coming back to the confusion of, what is this? <laughs> uh, second, the double drop kick. I, I love, I had fun. I had fun <laughs> getting to, to plant two feet in the face of this kidnapper. And the final moment was... Four, three critical success attacks, not in a row, but damn near close enough from the Ranger Slayer. Living up to that name. <laughs> that was yeah. insane. 
I'm looking at this and I still don't believe it that this just happened. This is ridiculous. She's living up to that name. We are not high enough level for that. Yep. Fine. Because you, you, you also crit on the on your freaking initiative, initiative roll check, yeah. for her. Just think we could potentially have to fight two as well if they turn Tommy. I do. Okay. Like- um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> Who hasn't had a turn? Yes. So we also have to fight Brian. Uh, Michael's Black Ranger. Yeah, I mean, oh boy, this was a whole thing. But I think the 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 reveal, the flip, when it was actually real, I totally thought that it was a joke. <laughs> 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 like, oh, Jay's just being an ass. It's Jay. It's fun. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not happening. a bit. It's not a bit. <laughs> and in my final act as temporary GM, Matt, what was your favorite bit? My favorite. This is going to sound really mean. Murdering us. Getting to Triple be the Ranger Slayer. I like. I loved being Kim and trying to get like trying to be friendly with everybody because she's really friendly but also because i had that extra ulterior motive that if you told her who you was she was gonna know who you was i'm glad we decided not to do that you and you dropped q in it um but yeah, I'm sorry. I, it was really cruel of me. I feel like a really horrible person. But considering how badly I rolled as Kim, then <laughs> bringing the Ranger Slayer in and she just being like, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. Murder. Good. Murder. Take, how, take, how, take how bad you feel and sit in that for a week. I will. <laughs> I will. I'll simmer. I'll just simmer. And what was your Zimmer favorite on... moment? Yeah, I think I, I think I, I think I said it. Just the Zord fight, getting the getting to the violence after all of those puzzles. I was like, yes, give me a Zord. I was like, I'm spending a story point. I want violence. <laughs> it was line. so great. So many story points this game. <laughs> yeah. Until we really needed so them. Yeah. We... <laughs> Oh, you yeah. it That's fine. You keep going. <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank we you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my crazy shenanigans. But more than that, I hope you enjoyed Jay's lovely, very confusing puzzles. I very much enjoyed being a llama, even though I only succeeded on one animal handling check. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. You'll come back. If you haven't already, feel free to follow. We like, we're here every week. Just saying. Um, and who's going to say hey, that? Of- May the power protect you. <laughs> May the power Being turned protect into a llama. <laughs> Bye all. May the llama lick you. Yeah. No, don't. They carry so many diseases. <laughs>